welcome to our... Well, not really most... No, more than half the cast are here. Uh, so analysis before we begin. As usual, still working on finding an alternative to card slash link tree. Uh, working on that. So important links will be in the video descriptions right now. Such as a link to our Tiltify page, or raise money for Color of Change. Um, I should hit record just in case the stream drops out. Um, yeah! We also have some Etsy stores. Check them out. You can get custom uh, Dungeons and Dragons class bumper stickers to show what class you main on the back of your car or window. What if you don't or, drive? Or phone. Uh, or computers. You can put them on the back of your laptop. Or, or on your guitar case. Or, or on, on your, your guitar. guitar case. Or on a suitcase if you have one of those hard suitcases. Um, you can put it, it's removable vinyl, non-permanent, so you can put it on literally anything. You can put it on your swamp cooler because it's hot, because it's summer now. It's 100 Fahrenheit. If you want to pimp out your swamp cooler, you should get one of these D&D vinyl Ooh. stickers. Do it. Check it out at etsy.com slash shop slash bad dice co. Back and to you, Justin. And also etsy.com slash shop slash Katecraft Studio US. Yes. Also that. There you go. And speaking of bad dice and bad dragons, last we left off. Not bad dragons. Oh. Get out of here with that shit. Well, there was bad dragons, technically. It's been a year. Uh, no, there's been some bad dragons. Um, putting their mark on trees. Um, yeah, you all continued your little trek back to an Undial City, talked to the corpse of the mouth, got some answers on some stuff. You know, learned that Barnier might have been involved in some capacity, the Archpriest of the Dawn Ward, or of whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, on your way back, Druck with their. 400 passive perception saw some dead canaries hanging out of a tree which are usually kind of uh, symbolically tied to Bahamut uh, approached said tree took the, the canaries down and saw that the symbol for Tiamat had been singed throughout the entirety of the tree uh, people spit on the symbol which seemed to cause it to glow slightly it was dispelled the canaries were buried I think they were buried? They were buried after they did some weird stuff. And then, uh... Returned to the city with a tree stride spell instead of spending the week to walk back. Or a couple days to walk back. Or an hour, whatever. Tree stride! Arrived back in the city. Uh, went to go deliver the head of... The mouth to the crown. Did so. But then got invited to go s hang out with the Archmage of the Council, Trondar Auxilian this bipedal awakened raccoon and uh, went down to his laboratory thought it was going to be this arduous kind of test or whatever and it was just, hey look at this thing I found what do you think it is? Want to touch it? Want to play with it? Uh, Flitz did though and beneath the laboratory this like forest had grown and was sealed inside a terrarium uh, and the Archmage mentioned that this had appeared roughly around the same time that the continent of Cathatuine returned to the sky in the east around the same time and the party realized that's when Ven imbued the world with the weave and it looks like it had made ley lines running everywhere magical ley lines Flitz however decided to walk into the terrarium and everyone saw as Flitz was atomized and Flitz was in the Feywild and was approached by some goblins that could fly around that called themselves the Butthut Gang and uh led Flitz to their patron, friend, master, who knows, and turned out to be this goblin-looking archfey, who I don't believe revealed their name, I don't remember, and uh, hung out with Flitz for like five hours, and Flitz was offered food that was weird, uh, and eventually it kind of ended with Flitz being gifted a necklace made from the ears, fingers, and toes of creatures who met their unfortunate end here in the Feywild. And, uh, Flitz returned back to the Material Plane, having spent five hours in the in the Feywild, 
Well, for everybody else, Slips is only gone for like a minute. And I think that's where we left off with Flitz stepping out of this terrarium fully intact with your new necklace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm adding that to my inventory so oh, don't forget. there's an actual magic item. So whenever you want Ven to identify it, it will be identified. Okay, good Ven's, to know. Ven's right there and he sees you holding a necklace. So... Uh... Don't. Yeah, oh, no, Flitz had told, had already told the raccoon individual, I have the name somewhere. Trondar um, Exilion! Yeah, Trondar to close that up, to not, oh, yeah. to he, not, uh... He would. As, as he goes I... close, you can, you can see a little pixie fly out and, like, hit the glass like a bird flies into a glass window. And the pixie just, like, shakes its head and flies back into the forest. Yes, I would, uh... mm. Oh, it's a doorway! Huh. I... Yeah, it's uh, it's a link to uh, I think the Feywild. He just, okay. So maybe just keep that contained. It's you be see, like idea. he starts like he runs over like another corner of his laboratory and grabs some like metal posts, and like puts them around the terrarium with a with a chain and like hammers a little sign to it that says no entry. Does uh, can Druck tell? that he's been gone way longer than what uh, we perceived. What's your... Like, based on his dirt, all of the dirt and shit on him. I mean, everyone can tell that Flitz has been gone. Flitz looks haggard yeah, yeah. and whatnot. He's been gone through some and shit. Knowing... Like, maybe he's got a, maybe <laughs> yeah. he's got a five o'clock shadow from not shaving. Uh, and those of, you, those of you who are a little familiar with casting spells, I'd say those of you proficient in Arcana, which probably isn't many, would be Ven. Uh, I think Ven and Flitz are the two. Uh, between the two of you, it's common knowledge that time passes differently in the Feywild. So Ven just goes, oh, that makes sense. Uh, I met a... It's a, it's a lot. It's it's nothing of important, and, I don't think. Uh, the necklace you're holding, it's like some of the ears are humanoid on it. Uh, some are fin just fingers, some are toes. That's all it is. Just finger A necklace of fingers, ears, and toes. This is like holding it like this. One of the toenails is like six inches long and kind of curling. Gross. Good eat. Uh, where, it, where did it, you pick that up? It was, it was a gift from the people that I met. It was a bunch of goblins run by a very odd-looking goblin. Do you want Big me to ears identify and... the necklace? I don't know if it's magical. They said that it can. Uh, they can speak through it if they wish. That sounds magical. Well, if you want to try, I don't have that ability. He, to, uh, Ben's gonna hold on to the necklace. He cast, originally cast identify. Um, well, it's given me a name. It's called the Necklace of Chaotic Friendship. Requires attunement by a sorcerer. That's convenient. Uh, <laughs> Quite. This necklace is made from the ears, fingers, and toes of creatures who met unfortunate ends in the Feywild. It is a gift from the Butthut Gang of Goblins, and allows the wearer to cast Contact Other Plane once a day to speak directly to the Archfey who leads their domain, apparently named Noose. You avoid the effects of having to make the saving throw when casting the spell. So when you cast Contact Other Plane, you have to make a saving throw, otherwise you just get driven to insanity. You don't have to do the, the save. Uh, in addition... The amulet has the following attributes. Your charisma score increases to 23, as does your total for that score. You only gain this benefit as long as you cast a spell once a week and speak to Noose. If you fail to contact them by the time the next week begins, you temporarily lose that benefit and polymorph into a random neon pink beast with a CR equal to your level that flashes like strobe lights. You last this way for 1d4 hours but can still speak but follow all other rules for Polymorph. As soon as you cast a spell to communicate again, the bonus to your Charisma score returns. There is also a 35% chance every time you cast a spell beyond first level that the chaos of the Feywild imbuing this necklace is unleashed. If this occurs, roll on the wild magic table below. So that's like if you roll a five or oh. higher on a d20, or are you gonna do a d100? It's d100. Okay. 
I'm adding it to your character. Oh, you already added it. Wonderful. I did, yeah. It's your choice that... to attune to it or not. That sounds so much fun. Now, with Contact Other Plane, it's just cryptic short answers like yes, no, maybe. Nothing. No long sentences. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and so, if, okay. and, if, and if the creature, and if the entity doesn't know an answer, unclear. How long does it, how long does contact? Uh, three, three years. No, no, I'm sorry. It's, uh, <laughs> what? No, it's, it's, how a, it's a, he... it, it takes a minute to cast. It's not a ritual spell. It takes a minute to cast. Uh -huh. uh, it lasts for a minute. Um, normally. Oh, it lasts for a minute. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Normally, you mentally contact the demigod, the spirit of a long dead sage, or some other mysterious entity from another plane. Well, contacting that's fitting. This, contacting this extra plane or intelligence can strain or even break your mind. When you cast this spell, make a DC 15 uh, intelligence save. On a fail, you take 66 psychic damage and are insane until you finish a long rest. While insane, you can't take actions, you can't understand what other creatures say, can't read, and can only speak in gibberish. But we ignore that because of the way the necklace is made. Uh, you can ask the entity up to five questions. You must ask your questions before the spell ends. Duration one minute. Uh, the GM answers each question with one word, uh, such as yes, no, maybe, never, irrelevant, or unclear. If a one-word answer would be misleading, it might offer a short phrase as an answer, but nothing grandiose. <laughs> and it has to be, okay. you have to wear it while you're attuned, so you have to wear this uh -huh. necklace of ears, fingers, and toes. Oh, God. But that's your gift. Ven finishes the identify, and it's just like... Put a shirt over it. <laughs> yeah. Are we um, just collecting relics from the previous party? Because I really want to. That... Uh, no. This is amazing. Cause like, if most Brock of the previous party are most armor, of the previous party are impossible to contact. Be that's true. You've already met the only two that can be contacted. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, aside from one more, but yeah, there's one more. And there's another one too, actually. So once a week. So for this thing, you have to do once, once a week. week. Yeah. Starting when you attune Does... to it. <laughs> okay, so it's immediate attunement yeah. to it. Yeah. I'll wait. Okay. Flitz will wait. I'll hold on to it, but Flitz will 23 wait. Twenty-three charisma. Yeah. It's, it's but if you don't, but if you don't do it, yeah. you lose your bonus and polymorph into a random beast of my choosing. Strobing neon pink glow. Yeah. Now this is a question too. Oh, I thought it was a character. Is a beast equal to yeah? Your level, ran, ran my level. Equal, yeah. But oh, I, ran, I still get to pick CR, it. Yeah, I still yeah, get to pick CR it. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be like nice. up to up to the CR. So I could be like, yeah, you're gonna be a goldfish. Is that sorcerer level or is that just character level? Uh, sorcerer level. So sorcerer oh, level. That's a four. Equal to Good. your CR. Or okay. It'd be your, no, sorry, character level because that's how polymorph works. Okay. Um, so this is a question too. Yeah. Just for OC, do we want to? Is this something that we'd want to keep track of in legitimate game? Because I don't think Flitz would ask. Oh, like I'll be keeping track. Of game changing. Oh, I'll be. I'll be. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be keeping track of stuff. I have some ideas because it's going to be very now. Okay. And also, I have these some questions. Ideas. The funny thing is, this is contacting news. It'd be question, questions that news would have the answer to. So. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Talking to an archfey, and the fey are fun. Are okay. This is a question too. This is, I guess, another OC question. Uh -huh. Would the characters and their the story that was unfolded previously would any of that be like circulating or would there be any active like knowledge or understanding uh, like, like if like let's like... say flitz were to go research who the hell archfade noose was oh and he were to try to find information and someone was like oh there's not a archfade noose there was this goblin what the, who what are the odds that ogden published a book about our, our here's, here's, just wondering here's the thing. <laughs> what are the odds here's the thing the concept on Dombre Go Cove, where Asmodeus was defeated, people's names were etched on there that didn't just die. There are people who, like, help. The people, the name of the people who helped is common knowledge. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Not that Flitz would really initially go do it. This was just part of me. I just wanted to, because it is a possibility of him being yeah. like, okay, why would this god? But also, the Fae are powerful. The Fae could... Yeah fuck with the material plane in certain ways Very if they true. want to. All right. You know. So he will he'll put it in uh, he'll open his 
bottle for now, and he's going to slip the necklace into the bottle for right. now. Cool. He'll eventually attend to it. All right, well, that's all I needed you guys for. Uh, thought it'd be more extensive and dangerous, so I guess that's that. All right, um, I guess you know where to find us if you want to ask us any to test anything. No, I think that'll be, I think the, the exploration of these weird magical occurrences will be next campaign. All right, great. Uh, we'll see you in six years. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Happy to. <laughs> So, all right. Well, do we want to? What do we? It's also currently ten thirty p.m. Okay, so yeah, we should time. go to oh. bed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thing. Then tomorrow do... we can do what you were saying earlier. Can I check out the Wayfarer's Guild? I mean, nice. I really just need to drop off a letter. But if we want to pick up a job, I know we got a lot to deal with with all the dragon hunting we got to do now. Uh, but if we want, like, you know, a chill sad gig, we can also pick one up. We should have a conversation. Uh, we yeah. Set up. Okay. Right now, I just need to send a letter to someone. Which, yes. by the way, Flitz, do yes. you know if there is a Wayfinders Guild in Holly Shy? Let me, let me, let me check my own notes. Yeah. Because that will make this significantly easier. Don't anticipate And cheaper. Being, but I don't know. Yeah, Holy Shire isn't exactly a place for adventurers, so there might not. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Flick <Flip> left. <laughs> the mayor became the mayor under mysterious circumstances that no one's figured out yet. You know. Yeah, but if it's sort of a North Pole proxy, as it were, sort of, then where'd all the letters go that kids write uh, oh, they get Father, burned. They get burned. In the fire. I was about to say, burn in the fire. Burn! What do you think? Not? And letters what do you think? don't even get to him? Yeah, there's what do you think keeps bonfire. us warm? There, so there, there, wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't, there was, ne- there was, my children's I, I don't know why I called him, didn't call him Father Why Not, and I called him Father Kringle, and he died. Anyways, uh, there is no Wayfarer's Guild in Holy Shot. <clears throat> but the Wayfarer's Guild can't send mail anywhere? Yes. Okay. Cool. But if you're sending it through the Wayfarer's Guild, it has to be picked up at a Wayfarer's Guild branch. Oh. Never mind. <clears throat> the chest! I can... Uh, yeah, I guess I can use... Hey, Quan, can I borrow your chest? Unless we used it already today? It's what Each person can use the okay. send and receive property, like, once. Each of you can do it once. Okay. okay. Um. So that would be teleport? Deliver. 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 All right. Um, I'm going to pull out uh, a really badly folded and sealed uh, piece of parchment, uh, and I'm going to drop it in and say deliver. And, Justin, I'll send you. Well, who are you delivering it to? you got to say the person's name, too. Uh, I, I just say uh, Richmond Springs. Okay. Deliver. All right. Cool. And, yes, send if- me that. If we uh, if we do go to the Wayfair Guild, maybe if you want. Oh, to I don't need to go it. anymore now because of Cohen's really cool chest. Oh, well, I was going to say. All I needed you... to do. <laughs> I, do oh, you well. need money? Do we need Get money or anything chest. like that? I will also oh, say. I'll also say now that you're eleventh level, <laughs> you are now third. You can now get third tier contracts at the Wayfair's Guild, which each contract has a base payout of fifteen hundred gold pieces. And you can do three at a time, and there's no expiration date on the contracts at third tier and higher. Just fun knowledge. Maybe we can find uh, some contracts that are close to different areas where these uh, dragons may roam. I'm ready to get back on the road, so to speak. So if we find a contract or a few tomorrow, I would be happy to meet out. You know, I've never actually properly, uh, let's walk and talk. How about that? Where are we staying? Uh, are we doing that tower thing again? Is that something you could do? Uh, not in town. We can, we can stay at my place because we got, we got all the furniture in the chest so we can just pull it out, set up a few bunks. Why, well, uh, going to be honest, I use my 
my bottle to sleep in, to rest. I mean, it, it's a safe place. Uh, I think uh, Dax's parents just got the locks replaced. Uh, but uh, yeah, we can hang out at my spot. Um, yes, I. This, but this is one of the first times I've, I will ever be on the road. I've never actually um, adventured before. <laughs> do you, Do you want to stay at a, a tavern instead, just oh, to get the full? No, I. It doesn't matter where we stay. I, that's what I was saying. My bottle will provide. A place of respite for me. It's within the interior. There's a uh, a larger space. At some point, I think I may possess the ability to uh, show you. So it's bigger on the inside. Yes, that's why it can expand and uh, bre like small. But within the inside, it uh, it's uh, about the size of a large room, circular, domed shape. So, so do you shrink? Or does the bottle get bigger? Because I don't think I've seen it change size. He it does occasionally will shift. He'll like shift sides um, whenever he like takes a coin out or something like that, or he puts something into it. The okay. opening oh, will kind expands. of like adjust, just a little, not like a whoop, like a big thing, but just like small like coins or something. So like you that. can't. Would you be able to like cannonball inside of it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Can I try? Well. I don't possess the ability to do that yet, but it's something that uh, I think is a possibility. All right. All right. It's uh, no. Well, we can just go to your place then. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick up a job in the morning. Yes. All so, right. I would like to speak on a few things as we walk. Right. Yeah, it's a half-hour walk, so there's time. Uh. Coin. How are you feeling? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's. Uh, do we want uh, one of those uh, big uh, questions? Uh, um, it, well, it, you've now asked me. It feels almost out of nowhere that you have asked me how I am feeling. Um, I did not like having to watch Flitz get atomized, and then poof, all of a sudden he is back, and that was much better. And I did not think uh, it was a good thing, but it seems as though he has received some sort of gross, creepy gift that may be a good thing. The looming and imminent um, e uh, extermination of several trash dragons has me both uh, concerned and uh, excited. Yes. Perhaps we will get some type of word on the location so we talk to the game tomorrow. Yeah, it is, it is just also strange to unsolicitedly ask me how I am feeling. About that, I was I was concerned that I could don't. Why are you okay? What is? Why would you unsolicitedly ask me how I'm feeling? Uh, because it seemed as though it was rough on you earlier today, this morning, when we oh, fought the the kidnapping and uh, yes. destruction of. Uh, I mean, that, that someone was, who had led to my, you know, my own. That like, was this morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems as though it is hard to uh, process all of that uh, and you know, distill it down into one singular feeling. It's uh, hard to do. Right. Maybe when, I... you're, maybe when you're feeling like you can explain your feelings that could be something you can open up to but perhaps so, yes and maybe not beating up people who 
you know. You but if going... people need to be beaten. Well, I was going to say, like, the stable hand that you were going to beat up because of things I mean... that were out of his control. Ah, uh, were they, though? Out of his control? I mean, is that what... Well, is that, is could that have what... been. Are we officially going to say that it was out of his control to shove Innocent a and proven of... guilty. We knew that there were mind control abilities. We just have to hope that that was what it was. But he met a fate by these cocks. Yes, that was quite weird. Yes, that these uh, peacock assassins Maybe that's a sign that maybe he was guilty. I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to speak out of both sides of my mouth, but it seems like we're kind of got a scatter shot of whether we're on the side of the stable boy or not. Seems like we're a bit all over the place. The, sta the, about sta someone... the stable boy was in his like 70s. I don't know if he was a boy. Stable boy. <laughs> stable boy is, is generational. It doesn't, <laughs> there's no age to be a stable boy. <laughs> but yeah, like I, like, I, like I mentioned last week, um, the Peacock Court only killed people who have committed like harmful acts to people, killed people, etc., etc. Yeah. He was a stable boy. He said, see you later, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't good enough. Well, we're going to stop singing that song. Okay. <laughs> <Yes, sir. laughs> so, so we don't get a copyright strike. Uh, so, uh, I mean, right. it's obviously a parody. Um, yeah, uh, Twitch doesn't know but, that. Twitch sucks. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a weird, uh, weird stance, bro. <laughs> I mean, you could stand on the fence and see both sides. You don't Let have you to know, jump to one side or the other. Uh, if I'm being Why honest... Why would you stand on a fence? Have you never done it? I mean, I've jumped over a fence, but I've never, like, just hung out and stood on one. Well, that's on you. It's not just standing there. You walk on it like a, like a, you know, like a boardwalk, if you will. If you're not graceful, I understand. It's not for the, the uh, clumsy or the two left feet, if you will. What's everyone's passive perception? Dash Nine. Ten. Nice. Drug twenty-seven. <laughs> well, you, do you even have to ask Garrett no, anymore? I don't. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. A billion. Especially, especially if the item he has gets powered. Okay, so as you're all walking, you hear like a deep rumble in the distance, and you just see a firework. Um, firework. Is it? No, it's fireworks going off in the distance okay. somewhere. Yeah, you do like this, and Flitz is gonna like pretend to walk in a straight line, but like on his tippy toes, like he's actually walking on like the. Make a dex <laughs> make a dexterity check. Not an acrobatics. <laughs> make an acrobatics check. Okay. <laughs> oh dang. That's all right. It's sixteen. You don't trip over your own feet. See, just like this. So what you're saying is, uh, you do something like this. You know, and if you're really good at it, um, you can do this. And he's going to cast Levitate on himself and begin to, like, float off the ground a little bit. There's a guard that's, like, walking by and goes, <gasps> One of the ghosts! Uh, wait, no, I'm not the ghost, I promise! I'm not the ghost. Pulls out his crossbow. <laughs> nope. Don't no, want to do that. Uh, he, he's not a ghost. He He's one of us. He's with the Faust and the Furies. We do magic -y shit. Oh, I thought it was one of the ghosts and just walks away. Yeah, no, it's just what, us. What, wait, what ghost? What ghost? What? Oh, you haven't heard the stories? You've seen ghosts? Yeah. Oh, everyone's really seen cool, ghosts bro. here. Uh, Coin, wait, you what? probably would have heard the stories, and Kenny Walston would have heard the stories, because mm -hmm. uh, you spent enough time here. Ven would have heard the stories. I see dead people. Uh, when this city was the original city thousands of years ago, and it was essentially destroyed, all the people that lived there died, and there's just rumors of people see ghosts here all the time of the old city folk. From time Ooh, to time. Right. Nope. Yeah, the town's a little haunted. There's like, there are uh, catacomb ghost tours that you can take. And there um, is a very dense, deep tunnels and mazes of catacombs mm -hmm. under the city. Uh, I would you... assume they're shut down now because of the explosion, but that used to be a big. They were shut uh, down you know, before the tourists. Were, you would remember they were shut down before the have, explosion. Have any of you seen ghosts in while you um, I use an action to summon mom. <laughs> yeah, you all saw you all saw a ghost in Kenna's house. 
Um, yeah. But the other, the other is probably would not have seen ghosts at all. Ever. Oh, yeah, Flint, this is my mom. I've seen your mom, I think. Yeah. I think I saw her during the fight with the moon. I. Yes, yes she was there. But the player wasn't there. <laughs> All right, so wait, this is your actual mother? Maybe? Yes, this is uh, my mother's spirit. Um, because <laughs> of how she died, she has not been able to move on. So when I need help, I can ask her for help and she shows up. All right, mark up one of your uses for that. You should it's have only seen once a day. Them. You should have seen them when we had to fight them. It was much grosser. I don't think I want to see a gross version. Hmm. It was actually in the basement of the place we're staying at. Quite fun. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be staying in my bottle for the night. Yes, I think that's, that is a I think that is a wise choice for me. It's definitely not haunted anymore because you know we killed the ghost. Um Yes, just the whole city's haunted apparently. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just casual Just ghost casually haunted. Yeah, you know like New Orleans. I've heard of that city. Does not exist. <laughs> the boss. Yeah, yes, I, I, yes, I'm going to say my bottle if you do not mind. I, I mean, if you're interested, I could show you the basement. It's pretty fucking creepy. Nope. All right. Can I wait? Are you? Did you? Did your family dabble in the occult? Technically, I was born when my mother made a contract with a planetar being. Let's oh shit, did I not tell you guys you that? You did not tell them that. That's the uh, first time everyone's hearing it. Uh, is this, is this was, this was the being that had tried to follow you yes, through the, one that, the, the transportation circle? Yeah. 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 You know, yeah, back in, um, uh, Vitmir. What? That seems very important. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's been a... We just killed the moon, guys. I feel like that's taking kind of, you know, the driver's seat of yeah. our current progression. We also just purged my home forest. Yeah, and we of... had to go rescue coin. We had to go save coin. Yeah, all in one day. So, uh... Yeah, I was kidnapped. Yeah, coin was full-on kidnapped by kidnappers and almost died. And a nasty stable boy who stabbed <laughs> me in the neck but apparently Flitz wants to, like chill with him and play like tacky sack with him. I didn't him and say maybe, that. I gave oh, you a no, gift. No, you're just like, oh, he's innocent. Oh, he could be cool. But like, you know, if so, the moment you were atomized, I was like hand on sword ready to like... Who got you out of that bag? Who got you? Who was standing there over that bag? Why are we fighting? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> trying to make a point. I don't know. You got heated. I get heated. Uh, oh, the at, energy at, match. At, okay. At, at this, okay. Yes. At this point, you'd be walking by the stables, and you can hear what sounds like flesh being eaten inside the stables. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep walking past that. Do we want? Do we want to look at that right now? Can I tell? Can... can I tell what type of beast is eating? If you look through. based on the sounds. Oh, uh, it, something small. Okay, so it's more like, yeah. like a little, like a little, like a cat. And then you hear like a little, meow. yeah. Mm. Cats eat your faces. Cats eating a rat. Or should, should people not? Is there not like a cleanup crew that could I mean, come in the and guards are remove the bodies? To. Yes. That's, a, that's above I our mean, pay grade. Yeah, if I'm, I guess so. that's below our pay grade. Uh, if I'm being honest, I if there has been um. Again, Bahamut, forgive my, you know, my overstepping, but a uh, little bit of a lackluster representation of the North Wind, and the people who don his armor in this city have been, you know, if I may be so bold, have been pretty clown shoes. Maybe with it wasn't there a recent like uh, passing or something. Yes, Maybe they're probably hasn't... trying to fill the ranks of yeah. the guards. I don't know. The prince just took over, right? Willing, yes. Yeah. Not officially. He hasn't been. He hasn't been. Uh, right. Maybe that's. Yet. Maybe what the sparrow just spoke to us about it not having a crown yet. Maybe that's why there's not a, an order, you know. Yes, may and maybe they were looking for more of a, um, 
quantity over quality approach to the number of guards, but a guard who blatantly uh, drinks while he is on the job, a guard who is afraid of solid beings as they are ghosts and doesn't understand that a reasonably low level the magics are happening and they are ready to just shoot on command. Guards who leave a crime scene uninvestigated and forensically uh, you all tested. See a, you all see a guard like maybe 30 feet away as Coin is loudly proclaiming this, just walking towards you all on his patrol. Hmm. Okay. What's it still floating a little bit? Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey what's up? How are, you, how are you doing? Oh, uh, just doing my patrol. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Keep it on, keep it on. Bahamut be praised. Yep. And be praised the North Wind. I don't know if that's an actual thing Bahamut followers say. It just sounded uh, right in the moment. Not all that is not all of us are very as uh public with our appraisal or whatever. Yeah, you know, I get it. There are you know, you know, there are all sorts of uh, you know you only go to the festival uh, of uh, forgiveness uh, once a year. I get it. You only go to one service a oh, year. I've, I've, I I've never been. Not all of us who serve in the Crown's Guard worship Bahamut. We're not paladins or anything. We're just guards. Some of us have been knighted. Some of us haven't. Real, I feel a real relaxed vibe about this... Uh about this administration when it comes to... Oh, um, no, most of our uh, order were killed in Bastille, so we're kind of trying to pick up the pieces. Mm. Yes. Know, dragon attack, so we're trying to pick yeah. up the pieces. There's been a lot of chaos. Bless. We've had to spread out to yeah, other settlements. Spread real thin. It's gotten real bad, so... Yeah. Anyways, have a good night. Yeah, you too. Ooh, dynamite drop in. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Would dynamite drop in? Yes. It means like, ooh, that was a solid um, a, a piece of information that you oh, slid into the conversation as I was, you know, being loudly critical of their um, lackluster performance as people who represent both the crown and both the deity that I revere. So, mm, it's like, have you ever uh, really enjoyed a bard and like you really like their music and then someone's like, oh yeah, I am number one bard fan and they like know just like the hit tracks but they don't know any deep cuts and they've never bought a piece of, you know, merchandise that bard was selling. So you're just like, oh, you're not even a oh, fan at all. Coin's a hipster. Coin's a hipster. Uh, coin, coin, is, you, coin is a Bahamut <laughs> elitist, actually. I think coin is full on gatekeeper. In the encyclopedia <laughs> of the North Bay. Uh, but, but full on gatekeeper. At this point, oh, at this point, he's, he's a, at this so point, good. at this point, uh, you would be getting to Kenneth's house because it's only a couple of doors down from the stables. It's like they know like the stories about the festivals, but they've never even. Like, they didn't even know that every Saturday you go to Thought Confession where you let your thoughts go and you can say whatever you want with no judgment. And uh, home sweet home. Alright. Anyway, every Saturday, whatever you want, no no judgment. <laughs> yeah. It's not like I have plans on Saturday evenings or anything. It's not Saturday in this setting. Sorry. Uh. I'll go to the, go to the <laughs> official calendar. Fantasy, Fantasy Tuesday. Um, <laughs> no, the interior is pretty barren, right? It had yeah, the there's boots. no there's no furniture. Yeah. Had the boots, the yep. ashes. Yep, and that boots was and it. ashes of Dax's mother. And Dax's like, yeah, I'm not staying here. And Dax leaves. You know that's fair. Yeah. Dax Wait, would have left earlier. Did you say both both their father and mother? No, mother. So just, oh, okay. just so Dax mom. Dax would have gone to like an inn long before you got yeah. here. Okay. Can are um, you good? Are you good? Last time Dax walked away, you kind of walked away as well. Yeah, I'm, I just forgot That's about... That's what happened last time you came this, here. Yeah. Why I just forgot we, about uh, this whole situation. I'm going to go upstairs. This should be scooped up, right? Yeah, it's still there. It, it already was. No, we got... Yeah, she got it She got it in a little... Oh, that's in the right. tinder box. That's right. Yeah, because Fort's... That's right. It's, in a, it all it's in a tinder box still. Yeah. Well, 
You said you had furniture. Do you need assistance in setting up the furniture? Or are you... Uh, it's just Here the same furniture that we have for the, uh, the Venn's tower. Pop, 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 you can pop, pop. easily get the furniture out and set yeah. it up. We have a whole routine. We can get it. We can get a whole set up in like five minutes now. Yeah, it takes like yeah. <laughs> there you go. Fliss is gonna try to find like a like a side table or like a little yeah. table to put the barn oh, on. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, whenever we go to sleep, I will I will show you how this works. Actually, right. it can't be on the table whenever I do this. That's too tall. He's gonna put it back on the ground. It, you want to put it behind the bar or the uh, counter? You could put it wherever, whenever I'm uh, in the basement. I mean, inside. I, yeah, let me. Why don't you go with that and I'll put it in a secret spot? <laughs> Preferably, it's better if I'm not below ground. Oh yeah. I can hear. I can hear. By the way, through the through the bottle. So just. I can be very quiet. <laughs> I think, well, if you put that's there, just... entirely untrue, apparently. <laughs> no, um, I'm not salty at all. Uh, I'll pop out no, in you... about eight hours or let so. Me, let me so turn into a horse and whinny during the stealth encounter. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, no, that was I perfect. Was I'm glad it started. I'm glad the combat started off like that. to the situation, yeah. and it, you turned it, it was used just... it against me. Yeah. It's a chaotic <laughs> moment of it worked out in the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Whenever we're whenever we're going to lay down, is there anything else that we want to talk about before we go to bed? Anything we need to discuss? Um, Flitz. Yes. Since I mentioned it earlier, you should be aware that I am currently being hunted. Um, it hasn't happened in a while. Uh, but what does that know... mean? Wait, 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 wait. That's right. You're being hunted by a person, so, a thing. You know the planetar I mentioned earlier? That's probably, maybe, almost certainly my dad. Um. <laughs> What? Uh, yeah, he he's trying to hunt me down. Uh, as you say that, there is a, as you said, there's a little peal of thunder outside. Just... Oh fuck! Because the last time you spoke about him at length, he appeared. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow, that's a. Uh... Is it going to rain? He's gonna look outside. Um, no. Uh, it's it's night, but you don't see any clouds. It's in gonna the sky. rain terror. Um. In terror. What? what does that mean? You're frightening me. You see, y'all just talk a lot what? about things of your past, and your past is very uh. What uh, would I know that I can get away with writing it down, or is it just the thought of you don't know extended thinking about you don't know this dude summons him? Okay. Maybe I'm gonna take out my journal. No, I'm gonna uh, show. It's, it's too late in the day for this. I'm gonna pull out yeah, my 11, letters. It's eleven o'clock. I'm gonna pull out my mom's journal. Uh, if anyone wants to read about it and arm themselves. Here you go. This is everything I know, and I'm gonna hand over my mom's journal. I am not. T I'm not. Uh, okay. Who's li who's looking in mom's journal? It will take me a year to read that. I'll look into it. I could go okay. in my bottle, and I'll be nice and tucked away from. I don't have the notes here. for the journal anymore. Uh, I, I should I might have it. I might somewhere. I it's not something that needs to be. I don't know why I delete things. Oh, it says, Flitz, do not read this. I will kill you and wear your entrails as a hat. That cool, is... Cool, no, cool. That's, that's not what Kenna, it says. That's Kenna's <laughs> last entry. It's like, that. uh... Yeah. What? Huh? Oh, I, I have it here. I have it's... it here. If there's anything of interest of note You're reading that, it? Uh... Are you reading it out Well, loud? not yet. I'll read it oh. whenever... No, I'll read it whenever I'm in the, uh... You don't want to read it out loud? The... Uh, no, give me the Cliff Notes version. Okay. All right, I'll send you. I'll send you the link. Flitz. Okay. All right. I really want to add Flitz is going to die in the notes somewhere. <laughs> Don't do that. That's super mean. <laughs> it will scare me. Where did it go? I, I already sent it to... Uh, I can resend okay. it to you. Yeah, but I'm also trying to find like my version of it. I have... I'll send it to you. No, but like I had it. Yeah, well, now, now, really you have have it. It, now you have it again. All right. Flitz, you get handed this journal. Uh, you're proficient in Arcana, right? Mm hmm Yeah, it just feels weird holding it. Alright. Oh, goodness, there is a... There is a lot. Yeah, there's nine entries. Yeah, oh, there's a lot. Okay, uh... Ooh. And it's, uh... I'll say the first entry was... Based on the date... 
23 years ago. So perhaps everything that he's about to read won't be uh, valid until after our break. <laughs> so the, he can actually have yeah. time to read that? Yeah. We're <laughs> okay. also nowhere near the break yet, so... Anyways. I know. I'm just saying. But, uh, okay, Flitz, you can give him the journal. Yeah. Anybody else doing anything? Because it is very late. Ven mm -hmm. is getting ready to pass out because Ven's been out for a long time, so Ven's already sleeping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, also still exhausted from yesterday. You are. Yeah, you got a level, I think. So does yeah, Ben. Yeah, is... Druk's gonna do that as well. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. All right. I mean, hopefully we're we're able to because we're just getting back on the same sleep schedule. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. that's why hopefully. I'm doing this because okay. I hate when players are on different sleep schedules because it gets very yeah. annoying to manage Real all rests. Rough. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, you all can have a long rest, but sorry, you got to stay up for another. Eight hours, two or just two hours, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> and then it's, it's, it's like it's, it's rough. Yeah. Anyway. But I'm so before this... everybody goes to bed, though, Flitz will do his routine. Meteor swarm. He will do his routine of getting into the bottled respite, his genie's vessel, and just for Kenna, he will do a Kenna ball. <laughs> you watch as he the like I explained last time the bottle it kind of expands the neck of it or the the uh, the, the hole. Kind of Wait, you should jump bit. from the and second floor landing into it. Nope, that's super dangerous. <laughs> and he just jumps in and it kind of like eats him and it shrinks down and the cork, like what, the stopper All right, just, just like Yep. <gasps> cool. And this is when you take the bottle and fuck around with it. Uh, no. I'm a good friend. Shake I'm gonna it. put it No. <laughs> I'm gonna Luckily, It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I'm gonna put it behind the counter in a safe cubby. In a safe So that it doesn't cubby. get rolled oh, around God. in Flint the event of pop out. In a You're putting him in a cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> he did slam pop it, out. Well, I'm putting it like sideways but facing a wall okay. so you just headbutt a wall. All right. on it is in a <laughs> cupboard. It is in a cupboard then. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, Ven isn't even going to do any time to do his book stuff. He's going straight to bed. Otherwise, Ven's going to get 24 hours of exhaustion. Let's will spend an hour reading in your journal. Okay. Cool, have fun with that. Uh, is anybody else doing anything before they go to bed? Uh, coin is going to find a corner uh, by himself. Uh, pull out the big Bahamut plushie. Nice. Uh, <coughs> yeah, six feet tall, so it's pretty big. And it's like a, it's a cartoonish depiction of Bahamut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Coin uh, uh, is also going to reach into the bag and summon the quarter of the sphere. Okay. And sit with that in his lap and meditate on Bahamut and ask for guidance and assistance and <clears throat> try his best to also reach out to uh, to Yadlin okay. to express closure or something. Alright. Um, the sphere, the, the, the portion of sphere gets a little warm in your hands a little bit, but not uncomfortably so. Um, and you smell some smells. Kind of like this is how you're being... You get the sense this is how they're trying to guide you. Like, they don't have... They're still not at their full strength, so they can't fully give you a vision or anything. Because as they mentioned, as I said, the notes I sent you for the dream you got in the stables, that was the last ounce of his energy to give you that vision. Um, you smell what smells like a boreal rainforest, like a pine forest. Um... And every time you get one of these scents, the sphere warms up. And it's it's almost like you're getting the sense of where these pieces might be located. You've had the vision before of where they might be, but this is like giving you a scent now. So you get a scent of, like I said, a boreal kind of rainforest. The one you can think of off the top of your head is the one that was around Varanmoor when you were there. Um, also, that's the only one on the continent. Um, at least on, an on the core. Uh, another you smell like dank 
underground and sitting water. Um, where the fuck were the other ones? Oh, uh, you can smell like ozone, like the smell of like like burning electricity, like burning, you know, like light ozone smell, lightning, that kind of smell. Um, how many was that? One, two, three. Yep. Those are three things you smell. Um, and then you also feel like this warming sensation run through you when you think of Yodelin. And as you do, you feel these... It's not fully, but... You swear you see wings appear from your back that aren't the ones you have. These are different wings of, like, platinum light that appear briefly and disappear when you think of Yodelin and get the sense that Yodelin is that piece. And I'm adding a feat to your character sheet. Because you've done some stuff that'll get you that. Where is it here? Where is it here? Uh, do you want wisdom or intelligence? I think I gotta go wisdom. Sounds good. Alright, boom. I have added Gift of the Metallic Dragon to your feats. Awesome. So you have that now. I am going to... And you get a sense that finding the pieces of the sphere are, are going to be integral to finding these dragons. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, your wisdom is now... Oh wait, did I give it to your character sheet or give it to did, did I give it to Ven? Okay, no, I gave it no, to no, you. No, I, I have it okay. on gift to the <laughs> Alright, cool. You all gain the benefits of a long rest. <clears throat> Flit. You wake up in a cupboard. <laughs> the sound of Flit oh. the sound of Flit's waking up in the cupboard wakes everybody else up because like a <laughs> boom uh, Oh shit, Flit! <laughs> oh I open the cupboard. Where am I? <laughs> So you're in a, I'm, you're in a, I'm you're so in a, sorry. A, I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> you thought it would pop out before. It's okay. It's all right. I thought it was like you an at will thing. <laughs> no, like... it's after eight hours. I have to uh, oh. leave. I'm partially awake. It's all right. It's oh, all right. I'm. I'm so sorry, man. It's, okay. it's all right. It's all right. And he's gonna hold up the journal. This is this deep. Do the others know of this? I mean... Any of this? Well, you heard the thunder last night. It's kind of hard to talk about it without... Well, maybe you, know. you don't. Maybe you just... Maybe nod. Don't, don't think too hard into it if you don't want to. Uh, it's not hard for me. It's I don't want to bring... You know, upon all our heads. It's me having the knowledge of, you know, is that detrimental to this? <laughs> um, I honestly haven't thought about it that much because we've been so busy and I'm kind of cut off from my emotions. Um, well, so... I'm really not, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, like, it... It's hard to explain how it affects me in my daily life because it doesn't really until I start actually talking about it. Alright, then we don't need to speak about it until you're comfortable. I think the others should know some insight. Yeah, they should eventually. know, but um, you know the dude that I sent a letter to the other night? Last night? Yeah, um I think he's my brother or cousin or something pretty sure it would be a, like a, a sibling. Yeah, right, like right, a brother-cousin right. kind of deal. Sounds <laughs> weird. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> with the lights, all right. It's, uh, are there other ones like you? Do you know of any other ones? I mean, the only, there's only four of us still living last I saw. Oh, well, um, you do. Thanks. And I thought you were fairly normal compared to the others, but I think I'm mistaken in that, um, yeah, assumption. I'm pretty fucked up. I think Vin is taking that spot. Yeah, Vin's pretty normal. <laughs> compared to the rest of us, yeah. That's what you think. Yeah, that's what... Okay. That's what hey, Flint literally just said that he thought Kenna was the normal one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you all wake up. Uh, long rest. It's all woken right. up to the sound of Flint's waking up in a cupboard. Um, yeah. All right, who wants to check out the next book from the Library of Kenna? I, uh, I'm more inclined to go, uh, go to the Glutton for Banishment and get our drinks and head to the Wayfarers Guild. Yeah. Hot cocoa sounds real good right now. Uh, I'm gonna offer the journal to Ven if he wants to look at it, but I know that he was also very tired. I'll look at it when my player is here. Great. Good choice. <laughs> I don't think I want to read trauma first thing in the morning. <laughs> I mean, it's not my trauma. Well, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Residual. Yeah. Definitely secondhand. Uh, Flitz is going to reach it to his uh, probably one of the few things that he actually carries. So he does have a backpack, but it's more like a again, it's like a hiking bag, so, but where a bedroll would go on the top, that's where he kind of keeps his uh, bottle. He's going to reach into his bag and he's going to pull out what is like essentially a uh, uh, like a small little pocket book. Uh, it's nothing like yours, but it's some things that I've discovered. If you want to take a read, he's going to offer it to Kenna. Um, yeah, sure. Before I uh, it's just, say it. It's just raunchy smut. <laughs> no, it's, wow, uh, this, is, um, this is real <laughs> detailed, uh, Flitz. No, it's, it's archaeological, like, uh, so during part of his studies and such like that, <laughs> it was, uh, he partook in like rune dive or ruins diving into like like dungeon diving dungeon delving essentially but nothing of what led him to the moon <laughs> uh there is like the first 10 or so pages are torn out I will um, say that. what are these missing pages about uh uh Stuff. Stuff and things. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? I, I, I think they're somewhere in the bottle. I haven't looked for them in a while. I could look for them if you want to. If you're that curious. Uh, no, if you if you want to keep them private, that's your prerogative. No, I've legitimately lost them within the bottle. I don't know. Oh. I mean, it might be important. Yeah, I haven't really looked. Anyway, bites of coffee and donuts. Hmm. Perfect. It's so good right now. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, all I have is all I have is breeze through this. All I have is Please. ice. All I have is iced coffee because it's a hundred Fahrenheit in my city today. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so everyone wakes up. Everyone's gonna go next door to the glutton for punishment. Yeah. It's probably gonna overpay a little bit. Oh, perfect. Um. Okay, so you go next door. Uh, the three bugbears are behind the counter doing their thing, baking. They got their, like, little aprons on. There's the 60 or so cats that roam the place constantly. Uh, no patrons yet because it's pretty early. Uh, the sun is just rising. Um, so everything's going to be, like, hot and fresh for baked goods. And they all see you go, oh, welcome again. Hello, everyone. We are very Pardon. tired after the festival, but... We've recuperated. We have things ready to go. 
I heard fireworks. Was that uh, marking the end of the festival last night? Oh, I don't know. Probably just some kids. Kids set off fireworks all the time to scare old people. Hmm. And you get a sense, yeah, the fireworks were just probably kids dicking around. Yeah, it happens all the time. Five uh, gold pieces. For what? I don't know. What's well, that going to be? We have these new. Everybody? We we tried out a new recipe today. Would you all care to try them for free? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yes. Wait, the last time that we tried for free recipes, two of you got quite inebriated. We don't. Well, that was the that was the bar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This and is they, a delightful new pastry. They pull up these croissants that are easily like two feet in length, and they're drizzled with chocolate and caramel. And it's just oozing whipped cream and uh, raspberry jam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just tried it out. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take one. Alright. Sounds so good. Uh, Two feet in length, by the way. <coughs> Half the size of slits. Yeah. Uh, and then and can coin. I also and, get... And coin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and could I also just get a... a dark, uh, regular coffee with a little bit of milk and sugar. Something simple. One copper for the coffee. No, it's five gold. It's covering everything. Okay. Do you want your You're change? Having a prepaid tab. No, it's fine. You have a lot of cats oh, to, uh, Jesus. So, feed. uh, okay. Kinda gets the coffee. Any drinks for Druck? Luck. Okay. There you go. Coin. Uh, we have sugary drinks, as you know. We have hot drinks, cold drinks. Anything. Teas, uh, hot chocolate. Uh, just a just a, a simple juice would be good. We got beet, orange, apple, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, peach, juice, boysenberry, or, or oregano. Blueberry. Weird. Tomato. You maybe mix a a carrot and orange juice. Sounds good. A carrot and orange juice, uh, frosted cup, three straws. The straws are fun. They're bendy straws. Uh, but they're made of paper, so they're environmentally friendly. Uh, Flitz, Does any... plastic pieces? <clears throat> no. Nope. Flitz, any drink? Yeah, Flitz is going to get a black coffee. Wow. With some sugar. Um, he keeps yeah. it simple. Can I try uh, one of your experimental pastries. Yeah, I told my tab. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, give what they, you want. They gave everyone an experimental croissant. Oh, that's the same thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Flitzen... Okay. Never mind, sorry. Can Flitzen... Yeah. I think Flitzen coins are probably just... Share one. <laughs> <laughs> Lady yeah. in the Tramp one? It's the, it's the <laughs> wishbone where you tear it in half. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Both of you make uh, strength contested strength checks to see who gets the bigger half. Oh, oh, I <laughs> Oh, I would cut and you can okay. choose. She oh. cut it in half. It is, it is you have fair the bigger that one. way. You have the bigger piece. Uh, well, I mean, I would cut it as evenly as possible. You cut, it, just, you cut it as evenly as possible. He tries to no. blow the wind a little bit to <clears throat> off skew the dust. Right. Just, just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So much damage. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I just get like a little tiny comb. The uh, end, but no, it's, the it's, it's evenly cut. Now, when it, when coin cuts into it, the filling kind of like <laughs> spurts wow. out because it's so filled. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of mess that is left behind, he'll press the digitate. Okay. No, he won't because there's cats. Yeah. He's gonna let yeah. the cats have it. The cats. Is... He's gonna tell them to come enjoy. Yeah. Come enjoy. Meow. Come come. And the cats just swarm and just... perfect. Right, you all get your drinks and your experimental two foot croissants. Excellent. All right, the Can croissants you... are warm and buttered and caramel God, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna to turn the volume down it's <laughs> gonna make me so hungry yeah I won't yeah, I'm I'm so I actually bad. didn't get I actually didn't Help. eat dinner same tonight same. so I'm oh, just no. like oh fuck but as I, the group has all their stuff yeah. um Flitz is gonna kind of corral people around a, one of the emptier tables oh they're all empty um, right now aside from cats he's going to take the headband off He's gonna take the ring off, and he's gonna take the his necklace off, the one with the like uh, the what looks like a almost like a marble that's kind of like 
moves with the wind, though there really isn't any. Um, I'm kind of stuck with the uh, with this item that I received, this gift. Uh, all of these I'm focused upon. Yeah, these are attuned to me, if you will. Right, yes. Uh, this, and he kind of like discreetly shows the <laughs> not wanting anybody else to see. There's no one else uh, in here. Just the bugbears. Even the bugbears. <laughs> okay. Um, it, I don't want... I, I would have to make a choice. Uh, this one makes me smarter. He points to the headband. Uh, this one keeps me warm. <laughs> and it makes me uh, not susceptible to cold. Uh, and this one was... Uh, I don't think I would get rid of this one. If he took yeah. one to the necklace. Yeah. This was a gift. From who... Uh, who gives me my abilities. I would take your ring or uh, what was the other thing, the first thing you said? It makes me, uh, it makes me uh, smarter. Perhaps that might help with reading. If you want to, general. if you would like Just to speed things up, perhaps, maybe. It may help you uh, process the learning. You still have to learn how to do it. I am all right at learning. This is, reading is difficult. But I well, um, the ring does have sentimental values. So yes, uh, the, the headband was also a gift, uh, but just more so I didn't feel out of place. How about the I just Academy. hold on to it for you? How does that sound? No, no, you no, could... no forever owning's of it. It is not my property. It maintains to be yours. And I would just be borrowing. Yeah, if you're, yes. you would like to. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. He'll kind of push the headband over. All right. Headband intellect for Druk. Oh man, let's see how this goes. I think it raises your intelligence to 19. Yes. Oh boy. Ven will not take the ring. He'll go. Well, Flitz has to keep. Right. Yeah. So yeah, he'll put the right. necklace and the ring back on. Uh, Ooh, you're putting the, the toe necklace on. Uh, he will begin the process of attuning to you okay. during this. During yeah. breakfast, you attune to it during breakfast. Yeah. Uh, will do the same with the All right. band. All right. Flitz, as you attune to this necklace. There's a property that identified in reveal, but it's not a bad property. It's not, oh, a, it's not a negative property. You just feel your toenails, your like big toenails, grow a little longer. Oh my gosh! Yeah, your toenails. <clears throat> you, like, and then you feel your other toenails grow a little longer. That's all it does. Like uncomfortably long. Uh, you could. It's noticeable. Like you know how if your toenails get a little too long, they like rub in on the inside of your sock. It's kind of like that. Jeez. All right. And wiggles his toes a little bit. You feel a hole get put in your sock. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Uh, and you have learned the hidden benefit of this thing. Very similar to... Benefit. <laughs> very similar to Kenna's belt of dwarven kind. Uh, every dawn, while you're attuned to this necklace, uh, there's a 35% chance that your toenails grow six inches. Well, I'm gonna have to invest in some clippers. Clippers, one hundred percent. His toenails are like this long, sort of curl. Oh. oh man, Do, can can you use them as like a, a D four yeah, when you make a like, kick attack? Climb up a tree, <laughs> slashing man, damage. Yeah. You feel them. You feel them grow slightly. Terrible. Oh gosh. All right. So yeah, yeah you're attuned to it. So your charisma would become twenty three. Which is a I think, plus it does, six. I think I made it do it automatically. Plus seven. Yeah, it does. It's plus six. Yeah, twenty three. Oh, plus it says, six. Yeah, it's plus. Oh, six. it is a plus six. Yeah, twenty four. Twenty four be plus seven. Um, does this mean when? Does he have to? Once a week, starting. So if you don't, does he do have to do this, a moment of attunement? Nope. If you don't, if you do not talk to so and so for a week, it'll happen. So. Uh, you have until 
next Ferendin, which is this setting's Tuesday. But the thirty five percent chance When you cast when you constant. cast a spell Yeah, when you cast a spell of first level first level or higher. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Set the twenty third of this month, if you don't speak by then, you will turn into a random beast. For one, D, for one D four hours, it'll just happen. Just, I will make sure to contact a new friend, new archfate buddy. All right. All right. Uh, but he will. And Druck, when you attune to the headband of intellect, it's just like, <laughs> it's like, it's like your brain sees Wait, the hold on. sees the cosmos. I think I, I think I've got this. I think I've got this. Uh, yeah, it's like that. It's like that gif. <laughs> Brain power. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's too good. That's yeah. That's, that's basically it. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the woman looking around and the. And it's yeah. Like... <laughs> but uh, yeah. I can see the two of you attuned to what you want to attune to over the hour. Croissants right. so would we'll be finishing that time, as with the coffee. Hey, hey drug, how you feeling? Uh, I'm seeing patterns of things I didn't notice before. Ooh, I'm going to miss having that feeling. Oh, this is different. Yep. Feeling so how are you feeling? feeling? I'm all right. Uh, I wasn't uneducated, as a, uh, I guess you could say. Okay. It's all it's. Right. Uh, going to miss some things. I've already, I'm kind of blissfully unaware, and now I'm going to be having to really focus on what I'm, uh, things I've studied before I just kind of came to. Sorry, I'll get used to it. The headband, yeah, and it is an actual like, headband, so Rook is wearing a headband. Yeah. He's, you see his eyes kind of darting quicker than usual, and he's like, everything looks new. <laughs> what is Druk's passive investigation now? Ah, oh, just 14. Okay. But uh, yeah, breakfast can be consumed, drinks can be had, items attuned to. What is next on the agenda? Over to the Wayfarer's Guild? Yes, Wayfarer's well, Guild. Alright. It is the same district, so it takes like ten minutes to get there. Ooh. Uh can I can I bring um our friend at the guild one of the experimental pastries? I gave you all the old Is that all you made this morning? They're experimental, yes. Uh alright. I didn't want to well, make... make if you make more we loved them, or at least I loved them, and I wanted to share it with another friend of ours. You know the good way to show that you enjoy something from a place of like this is to leave a tip. But didn't you leave That's a true. If, yeah, if you really liked it, you leave us a tip, yeah? Well, that was the cover for... I don't know what all y'all... Last time y'all ordered a slew of things. Whenever Dax was here, it was the... We'll take a tip. There was uh, right. armfuls right. of items. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, what's what money do I have? What's my I, money? You all have a lot of money. I do have a lot of money. Uh, I'm gonna put down uh, three gold. All right, takes it. Have a good one. You too. Right. See you next time. You leave the glutton for punishment and you head over to the Wayfarers Guild, mm -hmm. the head branch of the Wayfarers Guild. Okay. <clears throat> all right, inside you see the owner of this establishment, the halfling owner, Krieg. The, with like these got like this uh, for flits. It's this halfling, uh, brown leather cowboy hat, big ostentatious yellow feather plumed for at the top, dark brown tunic, skulls of a ram on each shoulder, thick brown scarf, uh, thick cigar hanging out of his mouth, thick black old timey bartender beard, uh, big black thick eyebrows, yellow eyes, and a leather eye patch over the left eye. He's like, "Well, hey there, how's it going, everybody?" Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh. Uh, do you have any uh, third tier jobs? Available? Oh, of course I do. Oh yeah, you all. I recognize you all. You all were the ones I bitched about my brother to the last time you were here. How's it going? 
Hello. Uh, it's going pretty good. And you would remember this is Vox Hill Osterbrand's brother, and he hate this guy hated his fucking brother, the halfling you all ran had issues with. Mm -hmm. He got left on the moon. Yeah. Hello, I'm Flitz. I'm oh, new. nice to meet you. But they can account for my uh, capabilities. All right. I don't uh, know if I have to start at like a junior level or something. No. You're with them. You're with them. Yeah, it's kind of a ride or die thing. That's a hundred percent. All right. So you want uh, now? Just so you know, uh, when you hit the advanced tier, you can get three contracts at a time, and they have no cutoff time. Isn't that exciting? That's very Ooh, exciting. Yes. We seem to get sidetracked quite often. I can tell. All right. Question. Sorry. Question. Just because I don't really know. Y'all, your contracts typically handle on handle like acquiring like a rare flower, or is yeah, it more like depends. kill this big scary oh, beast? Oh, it's a variety of things. Okay, yeah. it's not like rob someone. No, 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 right? no. None, okay. none of these contracts are ever, you know. Uh, Just making sure it wasn't like illegal bits or something. I mean, if you're interested. No, I don't think I am. We want to say I'm the wrong. Board. I'm the wrong person to go to if you are interested. Yeah. I think that was a joke. All right. It, yeah, it was. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so the first name, as you, as you all know, the contracts are given pre given names based on how we read these contracts. Yada yada. We got one called Lost in the Catacombs. That's exciting. The wind, is that here? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a contract called Winds of Hollyshire. Now that's interesting too. Uh, we got one called Wreck of the Spectral Star. Fun fact, that's the flagship in the Empire's Navy. And then uh, we got one contract that's called Missing Farm Animals. Pretty simple. Any of them pique your interest? You want me to give you more details on them? Uh, I'm kind of interested in the Holly Shower one as well as um, the Catacombs. Well, I'll read the Holly Shower one since you specified interest in it. Horrific winds have been blown down from the mountains slightly north of Hollyshire, and people have been lifted up into the air by unseen forces and have never returned. We are in desperate need of some individuals to head up into the mountains and find the source of these terrible winds and invisible assailants, and the contract giver is one Mayor Pendleton Crumbledean of Hollyshire. Uh, again, payout of that one, since these are advanced tier contracts, the payout on that one is... 1,500 gold to be split amongst however many of you are, there are. I mean, yes. Pendleton Crumbledean. <laughs> Sorry, it was the it just, it was the wreck of the Spectral Star. Spectral the Star. The flagship in the Geraldine Empire's Navy. Uh, and what other one did you say, Andrew, did you, uh, Kenna? Uh, lost in the Catacombs. Alright, buckle up. Seatbelts on this thing? No. Our mother passed away a few weeks ago and her body was interred in the crypts of the Dawn Ward. We wish to pay our respects, but were turned away due to the crypts having expansions and repairs done to them. That night, my brother said he was going to break in and leave some flowers for her. I haven't heard from him since, and the halls of eternal life are saying he never set foot on the premises. The Crown hasn't found any anything signifying he was there either. Please help me. And the contract giver for that one is one Carrig Crow, and Ven would probably pop in and be like, "We'll take one. Of, we'll take that one." Okay. Because I assume oh, Ven got would be. One. I assume Ven would be like, "Yeah, yeah, that's dealing with the Dawn Warden weird shit." Yep. Makes sense. All right, you can get two more if you want. Again, I can. How about I read the other two then, just to be just cope Let's take the Hollyshire one. I'm from there. Oh. It's my family. Alrighty. So you get, to pick, you get to pick from these last two then. Are y'all right with that? Is that okay? Yeah. Sorry, I don't wish to burden you with my problems, but apparently my kin can't seem to handle uh, it. Yes. Uh, perhaps you aren't aware of how this works. Your problems pay us money, so... Yes, I haven't been back to Holly Charlie in quite some time, so it's... Lots of wind, of... apparently. Oh, okay. But, uh, Wreck of the Spectral Star! The flagship in the Geraldine Empire sank in the middle of the ocean between Old and Undeal and the Core under mysterious circumstances. It sank in a region between the countries called Sailor's Regret. A small scattering of shipwrecks and small islands not dictated or detailed on any map. 
The other ships in the Empire refuse to go anywhere near this region due to superstitions of something dragging vessels into the brine. Discover what caused the sinking, look for survivors, and bring any remains home for the families. Uh, and that is actually a contract is given by Crown General Fenthrin Silverhand, father of the prince. So that's fun. Is he? Is he? Is he here? It's a. Is yeah. He, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, he's here. For some reason, I thought he died. No, nope. it was the mom. Mom died. Uh, right. the, queen okay. died. the last the queen contract died, yeah. is uh, missing farm animals. Uh, comes from someone called Farmer Silas Thorne. I own and operate a farm just on the outskirts of the forest surrounding Argent in the Verdant Shores. The Circle, the druids who oversee the settlement, refuse to let me move my farm into town due to them objecting to me keeping animals for food, supplies, etc. The reason I wish to relocate, though, is almost on a weekly basis now, one or two of my larger livestock go missing. The pigs and other small animals are usually left alone, but I keep losing cows and horses with nothing but blood in the fields come morning. I don't find any tracks. It's as if they disappeared or have been lifted off into the sky. One of the other farmers mentioned we used to have troubles with a rock a few years back, ROC, like the big old bird. And because of those problems, most of the farmers moved their business elsewhere in the farmlands surrounding an Undeal city. Uh, please find whatever is taking my animals and stop it. I worry it might not stop at animals. I like that in his letters. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he said a rock, you know, a big, a big old bird. <laughs> Got a... <laughs> It's a parenthesis. <laughs> Not a boulder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, those are the contracts. Lost in the Catacombs, which you scooped up. Winds of Hollyshire, which you scooped up. So you can pick, you can get a third if you want. Wreck of the Spectacle Star or Missing Farm Animals. Uh, uh, um, my preference is the farm animals. I do not wish to be on the sea. Yeah, I'd also, I'm also kind of drawn to the Missing Farm Animals one. I also it. agree that the farm animals seemed to take precedence, and um, I get this strong feeling. Some, uh, based on descriptions, things that are being drawn into the sky might coincidentally coincide with um, big winged predators, mm. aka. Trash dragons. It's all right. Well, here are your three contracts: missing farm animals, winds of Hollyshire, and lost in the catacombs. Each will pay fifteen hundred gold pieces upon return to a Wayfarers Guild facility. So, in total, if you return all these contracts in at the same time, or you know, just return them all in general, uh, you're looking at forty-five hundred gold total. And there's six of you, so that'll be 750 gold each for completion of all three contracts. I, sorry, I'm I'm unsure of how the uh, fulfillment process works. Is it something that we get a sign off from whoever yeah. requested it? Some right. contracts will require evidence. Uh, for example, uh, one person asked, uh, you know, find whatever is taking my animals and stop it. Evidence of what creature could be doing such could a have thing. Been doing it. Yeah. Uh, winds of Hollyshire. Head up into the mountains and find the source of the terrible winds and report back to the mayor. That's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. uh, and lost in the catacombs. Uh, dude wants you to find his brother and get answers to what happened to his brother in the catacombs. So that's pretty simple, too. Now, the kicker there is the catacombs are off limits to the public right now. So yep. They're also nearby. Yep. Perhaps we can loop around the catacombs, see if we can't find... Dawnward's also off limits too to y'all, I heard. So. Because of the explosion, you guys were told you can't be in the Dawnward for a little bit. Yeah, that was so, right. Maybe we'd come back, circle back to do that one. Maybe don't do it right now. Maybe maybe we should take a. What do you think, Van? Uh, uh, I think we should do it when I'm here. Because it yes, could, be, think... could be time to my stuff a bit. Do I we, think uh... we should, uh, yes, leave the city for now. Do we want to go to the Verdant Shores? I would, uh, it's up to y'all. Uh, Hollyshire is a way to get to. Ways away. Yeah, we should do the closer one. The... Hollyshire takes a bit to get to. From here, if you're looking at travel distances and stuff, uh, from we... here to, uh, Hollyshire is about, because I got actually notes on that shit, uh, it's about 460 miles, 17 days, if you're on foot. 
Also, you, we... can use, you can use the teleportation gateway here in the Dreamweave because you got points to Ven and points to Flitz. Uh, 150 gold per person to use a teleportation gateway, and there's a teleportation gateway that goes right to Hollyshire. Uh, I mean, I've got a date with someone in Hollyshire for the fifth uh, or the ninth of uh, what next month. Yeah, you don't. Um, got many, you don't got many days left. Huh? Yeah, that's not too far away. Yeah. Excuse the ninth of Traven, I got a date. Um, like an actual date. You know, you know my brother cousin I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. That they don't know about that. Cousin. Yeah. So I got this brother cousin. <laughs> and you have a date with them. I. You know, it's like it's more of like introducing ourselves to each other because oh. we previously didn't know we existed. Uh, so like he's invited us to come and meet him up in Hollyshire. When did you find out about this? You've never mentioned uh, brother cousin before. We we've been a bit busy in the past few days slash weeks, um, so I've kind of kept it to myself until you know we were less busy, which is now. So, ta da! All right. Well, like I said, Hollishire is a ways away. Argent, you know the Verdant Shores. That's a ways away. But like I said, there's a teleportation gateway that can take you to Hollyshire. There is not a teleportation gateway that can take you to the Verdant Shores. Have we been in contact with Ogden Boone? He's got an airship, right? Oh, uh, airships are being grounded currently because of the threat of dragons. And Ogden does Dang. not have an airship. Dang it. He's just got a right. Oh, he's just got the snow meadow. The Marion. And yeah, all airships, like this guy just said, are grounded because of dragons recently. Ah, that's right. This is good. Uh, we... Good travel. Uh, it'll be good to be back on the road. So you're gonna go out on foot to the Hollyshire or where? Uh, Should we go to uh? The... Well, if we to if investigate we to... the missing animals. Yes. If we go to Argent, I can transport via, via Plantus back to the capital, and then we could teleport to Hollyshire after that. All right. As if everybody wants to spend 150 gold each to do that. Yeah. I'll cover costs if others are. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We have plenty. Not of, of everybody, no. Of whoever is <laughs> yeah. resistant of it. We should be it out. So we wanna we wanna go to Argent first and then Hollyshire. Oh, well, just outside mm -hmm. of Argent. Just outside of Argent. Yep. Yes. Not allowed yes. inside the settlement because he raises farm animals and the druids there don't like people keeping animals as pets. Yeah. And for food. All right. Well, just, uh, sorry, there's... just to confirm, these are all on. Yep. An undeal. Yep. The they're all, they're all okay. on the floor, yeah. Oh, Argent. It's to the north. Oh, shit. Yeah, Argent. Yeah, sorry, I just realized where it was. Yeah, yeah. Argent, yeah. you have to pass through the Turagahar Mountains, which you all yeah. are familiar with from the vision now. Yeah. Hey, Drek, you yeah. still got the rubber sheet? Oh yes. Oh yeah, persistent lightning storm. You did. You don't have to go up in the mountains this time, but you do have to pass oh. through. Oh, so it's literally on the. We we are picking opposite corners of another Yeah. Deal. <laughs> yeah, but now or... we have access to teleportation magic, so it's a little easier right. to get around. Twenty-one hexes, so twenty-one times ten. That is two hundred and ten miles. So it's actually quicker to get to Argent than it is to get to Holy mm -hmm. Uh The ninth of Triben, that's a little less than three weeks away You're now? You're going to be cutting it close. Okay. Like, real close. If, yeah. I uh, will say this. if you, you probably won't make it if you go to Argent first. Could I transport via plants to the other side of the mountains? Uh, or are there not trees big enough? There would be. You've seen trees in the swamps, but you would need trees, yeah. swamp trees on this side, and there are not swamp trees on this side. Oh, does it have uh... to be? The same? It has to be the same kind of tree, if I, if I remember correctly. Because that's the case for um, tree stride. Yeah, I think it's the same though. I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure with transfer via plants though. Um. Magical link between a larger, larger inanimate plant within range and another plant at any distance on the same plane of existence. 
You must have seen or touched the destination plants at least once before. For the duration, any creature that can step into the target plant and exit from the destination plant by using five yeah. feet of movement. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't could, have to yeah, be the same tree. You could do that to skip a good sizable chunk then. You could walk outside the capital and go poof, poof, and get into the swamps yeah. immediately. But like I said, uh, travel time is going to get fucky. You will not be able to transport via plants to Hollyshire, though. Yeah. Definitely. The closest that, we would be able to get would probably be Giant's Cradle. I think it was a good idea is to do what you said, is to transport to via plants to the Teleport swamps. spells are so useful when you get them. Yeah, and then yeah. go to Argent, teleport back to a new dual city, use teleportation circle, pay the yeah. fee to yeah. you know, oof to Hollyshire. Because transporting... Because teleporting to the other side of the mountains will shave off at least a week. Yep. Or Down roughly a week. Yeah, it's, it's, all... If you leave from the city and if you walked from the city, it'd be 10 days and 8 hours on foot from here to our Yeah. Point. Yeah. So Coin, are you funny. okay with that? Are you, you, you good? That sounds... Uh... <clears throat> uh, did, we've picked up Dax, too. Dax is Dax back is with here. us. Dax is here, yeah, yeah, Okay, great. Where is Caleb in my Discord? There we go. Hi, Caleb. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Look at that ramen hoodie. He's right there. <laughs> oh, this is the wrong comment. Mm -hmm. I want to look at the right one. Did Druk use the last of our uh, euphoric dust? Uh, I no. don't think he. Mm, it was in like, the. It I was... gave it to you, but I don't know if we smoked it already. Nope. I thought you smoked it at some point. Nope. We've smoked a lot of euphoric stuff. Yeah, to us, it's but... a bad thing okay. to do. <laughs> but, uh. Right, so you are headed to Argent via transport via plants. Yes. Oh! I did smoke it. I so, thought so. so. I remember that was like the first so or second session. I. Kenna, I lied. Uh. You, uh, you would not have oh, seen it. Oh, we've been to Varanda. Yeah, but you wouldn't have seen the because it has to be a tree you've seen. Uh, yeah. And you haven't seen we a tree. Still in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you could you could have transferred via plants to Varanmoor and just. You know what? You could transfer via plants to Varanmoor and then just walk have... from Varanmoor to. Yeah. Argent. But we have like really sketchy memories of Varanmoor, so I think I want to avoid Varanmoor for now. Yeah, Ven would probably be like. Let's just let's avoid. Let's stay with yeah. for a second because yeah, everyone there died supposedly. So, but, yeah. oh, that's right. We never walked to Varanmore. The Illithid dropped failed. you off. Yeah. Oh yeah. We Please don't discuss like any of this with Flip. Y'all about to freak him out. <laughs> yeah, you got dropped off in Varanmore by the uh, Nautiloid that the Illithid were piloting. Yeah. yeah, via the Astral Sea. Nautiloids, Flits, Nautiloids. Not always a cool spot. Anyway, so what's the plan? So, so I transport via plants to, plants to the other side of the Tarag Harar Mountains. Okay. And then walk from there. Okay. And then transport... We'll have to spend at least a day in... Um, no, it'll take more than a oh. day to walk there. Yes. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, yeah. So I'll have to save a six-level spell once we finish in Argent. Okay, or so you, you, the, the, the closest place you could go is, like, the first little crossroads here. So that would be yeah. one, like, just past the mountains. Like, literally the hex yeah. right past it. Yeah, because uh, we went south three, instead of four, north. four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's thirteen. So it'd be 130 miles instead of, uh, so you'd still have to walk 130 <laughs> miles. Yeah, that's still, like, a good chunk we're cutting out. Yeah, you're cutting down about 100 miles. A little yeah, bit. sweet. Well, a little over 100 uh-huh. Okay. That's what you're doing? Uh-huh. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Okay. There's trees in the city, by the way. So you can, cause like I said, in the market war, there's trees that provide shade. So you can just use a tree in the city and just... Do we have everything that you we need. You also use a tree. You also... Come. Yeah. I suppose if any of you magic folks uh, have a bow of anything that can keep a flying creature in range, that might be useful. 
whenever we do arrive. I I you know, I was, um, before we leave the city, I was hoping maybe I could speak to someone in the city about armor. Alright, uh, do we know anyone? Is there a... Kenna, do you know of a blacksmith? Yeah. Uh, in town? Uh, I mean, I didn't really get to know any, um, but, uh, I mean, I might know a tinkerer or two. From well, let's have back a look the around day. real quick. Perhaps we can discuss some things. What uh, what are you looking for, boy? Um, <clears throat> last night I felt a tremendous weight lifted off of my shoulders, and that was knowing that Yadalin, the patient, was finally at peace, and I thought I would stop, um, I thought maybe it was time I uh, learned to protect myself and to embrace my own light. I wanted to see if maybe I could find Earth. someone who could make me armor that I could fly in. Me too. Have we? Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. So we can fly. Got it. All right. All right. All right. But and you I've... keep them tucked in your armor, hidden away. I know. I understand. There was a reason why you did it. Is that not uncomfortable for you? I will say something. Uh, based in the flying kobold like sub race that you play, uh, you can't. Just based on their flight, you can't wear medium or heavy armor to actually use your flight. Yeah. Right. That's why I was trying yeah. to see if there's anyone in town that had any sort of hint about how to use it. We also have that armor in the mountains that we've never gone. Are we going towards those mountains? No, those mountains are on. Those mountains are on remnants. The completely different landmass on this continent. Okay, so we never got to talk to that. You never went there. Guy. No. The dragon uh, guy. No. Yeah. Although we can transport via plants there now. Well, you can't because you actually haven't been to where he's from. Like the well, region. We can get close. We can get halfway. We can get yeah. close. We also we have go. a teleportation circle of that house that Correct. we own now. Yeah. But you'd have to go all the way around. Right. So, first things first. Blacksmith, let's go. Okay. I think. Market I ward, think... there's like there's like five or so blacksmiths in this market ward. He's gonna need a, a, a Fletcher. He's not gonna. He's gonna need a leather worker, not a. Yeah, blacksmith. Blacksmith. Yeah. You, or medium or heavy what? armor won't work for the flight mechanics. But so. don't you just want to? Oh, right. All right. Let's get you something. Yes. So, yeah, like I said, it'd have to be light armor. Because you can't fly in medium or heavy. So is like, is there like a specific type of light armor you're looking for? I mean, I was thinking of a pattern I could use, and I thought maybe if there was some way to make light uh, scales, like a sort of scale armor things together. I do still have this uh, mithril. It's lighter than uh, other metals. I mean, if that is, if you think that is something that is um, doable. I suppose we should just leave it up to the blacksmith, right? Uh, See what they have. Even if this is maybe this is another job for Ofuk, who is just a wizard with... My, my last armor melted 
so I need some as well. No one looted the studded leather off of the. Uh, oh no, yeah, the dwarf was blown apart. What I, was that? The dwarf that you guys killed in the forest had studded leather on him. Okay. Uh. I assume that would have been looted. Yeah, yeah, we took it. We took it all. Oh, it was dwarf-sized armor, though, so it'd be a little snug. Yeah, if it, especially if it's uh, not magical. It's then, not. Yeah. Well, we, perhaps we can get it resized. All right, so you'd be looking. Yeah, you'd be looking for like a leather worker, not a blacksmith. Right. Drug. All right. Yeah. So we'll go to a a leather worker then. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, because unfortunately, mithril is light, but it is still considered medium or heavy. Armor. It just removes the stealth disadvantage thing. Okay. Uh, you can find a leather worker, like a dude, human guy, standard human man. Well, what can I do you for today? No, I was wondering, um, in your infinite wisdom of armor, if there's an armor that you could, um, create for me that would allow me to fly while still being protected? Uh, the best you can do in that sort of circumstance. I don't know what accent this guy has. Who cares? Uh, the best you can sort of do in that circumstance is uh, light armor, usually. Uh, you can't really fly around with heavy armor. Uh, you probably could if there was some way to do like some magical benefits to it, but that's not my area of expertise. Um, so I can make light armor out of leather and stuff like that. I can take, I can take flesh of an animal and turn it into leather, if that's what you're interested in. I make a lot of leather gherkins for the, uh, or jerkins for the, uh, some people. Uh, question. Uh, what is your, uh, skill level with dragon's hide? Never work with dragon's hide. You'd want to find someone who's familiar with that kind of material. I'm just a dude who All right. works here in the marketplace. Cool, that's, that's why I ask. Uh, yeah, that's beyond my capabilities. How about, uh, we just get some standard leather? Studded. Do you want to? You just want to buy a piece? Just buy some. Studded leather armor. Well, yes. we need a little custom made for our friend here. We all need adjustments. So. Is this for you? Point to drug studded leather. Well, I need one, and and I got my one. I got one, one, one that's one. I got one that's bugbear sized. All right. Uh, here, take. Uh, it's forty-five take gold. This. Right. Uh, can we trade? This is. Uh... I don't do trades. I tend to take gold, so because so I can All right. pay things. Well, I guess. Well, we're not going to use it unless someone else can think of something. Yeah. Materials, I suppose. What are the materials? It's le leather. I'm giving you studded leather. <laughs> All right. It's dwarven size leather that you could just sell. Uh, I'll resell it. Whatever. I'll clean it up and resell it. I can't right. do uh, but for this suit of studded leather, it's 45 gold. Done. And looks to coin. And what are you looking for specifically? Something that'll help make you fly or help you with flying around? <clears throat> uh, no, I, I need no assistance with the flying. I would like to be less um, exposed when I fly. Yeah, less so vulnerable. the best we could do is light armor, like mm -hmm. like leather armor and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you can't really fly around with more sturdier stuff. You know, and I am speedy enough that I think perhaps, and meaning no offense, me flying would be about... Uh, without any armor would be about as effective as with armor. Yeah, you're probably rounding out around the same if you're wearing light armor compared to things. If you got some armor like mine, it'd be pretty good. This is sturdy. 
Yeah, it's to, um, if, light if, if you guys started, if, if you guys started level like Druk, it'd be twelve plus your dexterity bonus for your AC. Mm -hmm. What's your dex right now? What's your dexterity modifier right now? Five. So it'd be twelve plus five, so it'd be seventeen. I think you have seventeen without wearing armor anyway. So yeah. Plus shield. Well, the shield plus the shield is nineteen. Yeah. Dang. So coin well, doesn't coin doesn't coin doesn't really need light armor. Wait, what? Yeah, that's There's how it works. Seven, well, when it's when it's an well, actual projectile. So when it's an actual projectile, when it's just regular stuff, it's 17. When it's yeah, something shooting at me, it's light armor probably won't do much for you. Right. It, I mean, it's like it's still plus two to what he has right now. He'd be at 19. Oh, would I? Yeah. Yeah, it's your. It's coins, it's armor. coins yeah. decision. But like I said, it's not going to be plate. You're going to have to get leather armor to fly around. You can't fly around with plate or heavier medium. Yeah, I will take the studded Fair. leather armor to All right. see how that fits. 45 gold. This is... Uh, it gives you the dwarf size set. For free, actually. Because oh, that that'll fit. The dwarf size one will fit. So nice. actually, you know what? And just hands it to you. Cleans it up a bit. Did he make some adjustments to it? Yeah, he, I can hold on. He takes like a like a, some tools and he cuts like wing slats in the back of it. Anything else you want carved into it? Yes. It, I'll, I'll have to charge for the customization, man. Please, five yes, gold. I was going. Here you go, five gold. More than, it'll be more than five gold. Just ten yeah, gold. How about, how about the forty-five gold and you you make it uh, and you put this prayer on it. And then add a dragon to it. What mm -hmm. kind of dragon? Show him my sword and oh, all of my all right. Bahamut he, <laughs> he carves everything into it. He's like, you know, yeah, that'll cover the 45 gold. And then uh, hands you the studded leather that's carved with the visage of Bahamut on it. And, uh, okay. and it's just like he gets the whole uh, prayer from Boondock Saints carved into it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, and that's you get you have said leather now too. And teeming with souls will never be. <laughs> so there you go, said leather. Alright. Eh. Let's hit the road. We're all ready with new leather. Gotta break it in. It's a bit it's like watching first. coin like a hawk looking for those wings. So I'm doing like stretches, then uh, dig deep down low. The wings come out and flip up, and he does a backflip up into the air to get up about nine to twelve feet high. The Ongbok kick in the air like the Flit, that. Flitz actually did see Coin's wings before because Coin was unarmored during the fight in the woods and was like flying and doing flying knee drops and stuff. Not with a nine per centrum. Nah, no, no, no. <laughs> and, and, also and a Goliath the, attacking the fuck out of him. <laughs> True. I also, I also intentionally preoccupied. didn't use the wings. Oh, that's right. Because I used my, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> used my yeah. full knee strength. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, and your missy step. That's right. Yeah, that was a missy step, not a fly. That's right. Wow, I really, really committed to not using my wings. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna get into my equipment and add. Uh, just and also, light, light armor doesn't take 10 minutes to put on and not take off. How, how long does it take? Make an action. Yeah. Yeah, it's super yeah, you fast. Pull, you pull the flyaway strap and it just falls off like a Cinderella <laughs> yeah, transition. It's not like armor, you have to like unclasp everywhere, yeah. I have a lot yeah. of baby powder always on. So it's, <laughs> it's on. Like, you have to crochet coin into the armor every morning when he puts it on. Nope. <laughs> so he can just pull a string and it falls off. And you don't have to take it off when you go to sleep either. Doesn't really take. You can you can see the rub and chafe marks from where he was keeping oh, the metal. Oh man. What about? Anyway? Is coin's nose still like raw from his helmet slamming into it? Right on the bridge of it, like a football player. Yeah. That gets their nose broken. Or like gets that cut on the bridge of their oh, nose all no. the time. Yeah, it's a bridge mark from the visor. The visor yeah. stays. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's fair. It's a signature look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's find a tree, guys. 
the weather is normal for the season. There is no wind for today. And, however, <laughs> it's heavy rain. Uh. <laughs> That's okay. Heavy, cold spring rain. Just... <laughs> No, nope. Flitz is Flitz is perfectly fine with his little with his ring on. He is a nice warm temperature always. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You stay at a so your warm temperature. Are you gonna use the tree in Kenna's backyard again? Are you gonna the tree straight through that one? To not alarm uh, citizens. Yeah, we can we can use my backyard tree. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Everyone ready? Got six seconds total. I yes, I think so. Oh, yeah, yes. everyone, uh, get in line, line up, and three, two, one, go! All right, as you all run through the hole in the tree and teleport to the other side of the Tragahar Mountains, we're gonna go to break, Woo. and then we'll come back for travel montage. So, bam, 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 because it's like six days. So. Break time, we'll be back in 10 minutes, everybody.
So, you all step out from this tree into a swampy, muddy road filled with mosquitoes muddy and road. filled with mosquitoes and biting insects. This is what's this is probably first time in this region. It's a lot. It's mud. It's muggy. Humid. Oh, last time. Lots of mosquitoes and bugs flying around. Last time we were here, we had Derbule with us. You did. So now it's walking in the mud. And because it's a different region, normal weather for this region today. Okay. No wind. And light rain. Uh... Since we're here doing that, uh, can Druck like gauge like the uh, the wind and what the animals are doing to try and figure out like what the weather might be tomorrow? No, because it's random rolls. Aw. Yeah. Man. I might. I mean, even if it's random, we could do the random roll right now if I roll high enough. Okay, survival check. Okay, cool. Sweet, thanks. <laughs> if I remember. Okay. Okay, I guess natural 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, tomorrow's probably going to be... Just getting a sense of the air. 40 degrees hotter than normal. Okay. Yikes. So today, <laughs> basically, uh, yeah. strong wind. Mm -hmm. So hot and strong wind, which might cool it it's down. It's got a breeze, and it's gonna be heavy rain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why did you have to make tomorrow Florida? Nice. That's heavy, awesome. Heavy, it's Florida tomorrow. Heavy rain, high winds, hot as fuck. Uh, this is. Uh, do you see that off in the distance? And you see all these animals this it's probably not going to be good tomorrow oh uh cannabis. perhaps even during the night it might uh change over can i you need gotcha. to can i you need to roll percentile dice because you had a long rest that's right yeah 85 is does van need to roll those for his he doesn't have it anyway he's got destroyed no okay Sorry. he used it that. to imbue the the planet with the weave all right, so someone roll me a D twenty or someone roll me a D one hundred for your first day of travel. Point of order: How miserable are these mosquitoes? They're like small. They're like sparrow sized. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck! Holy me. shit! Holy shit! People okay. think it's normal. People think it's normal, but yeah, there's sparrow sized mosquitoes that fly around. Yeah, <laughs> Flitz, can he cast? Okay, just for flavor's sake. Can Flitz cast Armor of Agathus on himself? Yeah, roll a d100 because you're activating a wild magic oh my. surge. I'm, I'm well, not going to remember that I have those. He doesn't know if he... Come on, Because there's a 35% oh, yeah. chance oh, yeah. he'll activate yeah. a surge. Oh, fuck off! I rolled a 29! <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> so you cast, armor, you cast Armor of Agathus. Yeah, oh, no. this roll, is just supposed now, to be flavor! Now roll me a d100 because as you cast it, the necklace... Oh, the to the tone the toenails on the toe like the toenails on the toes grow a little bit so percentile dice fifty three all right but you are immune to being intoxicated by alcohol for the next nice. eight days oh it's five d six roll five d six five d six yeah yeah for 18 days. You're immune to being intoxicated for 18 days. <laughs> That's all that happens. Vets can't get drunk for 18 days? You don't, you don't know that? That's just, yeah. that's just the effect that happens. Okay. Yeah. He feels the, the flare. Yeah, as the toenails on it grow. Forgetting that that was there. But essentially, the armor is just going to be the, yeah, the buffer. buffer. Okay. It's, yeah. his, it's his uh insect repellent. But regardless, someone roll me a D100. I got it. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. So, walking along a muddy road. It's a uneventful day. No mosquitoes do bite those of you who aren't armor vagathist up or that have bug repellent. 
sparrow size. So you get, so you get like big fucking like bird sized welts that are itchy. Uh, coin it's actually noticeable. coin wouldn't. The mosquitoes bite coin, but no welts or anything for them because coin's technically immune to like that kind of shit because of paladin shit. So just they nice. bite, they bite I, coin. There's just no like. I welts. was actually I was actually gonna say the first one that tries to <laughs> bite my neck, I would go I would go. Stable boy. <laughs> okay. <gasps> and, oh. oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't really help with that. Yeah. Um, but that's uh, rough. Uh, <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> uh, after about, well, Flint will f hang out behind <laughs> Coin and just presidentitate puffs of wind. No, if any, I think, I think uh, like a like a like a horse tail, the wings would come out and just kind of bat the cool. neck every so often. All right. Cool. Nice. All right. Uh, nice. Yeah. After about six hours of travel, just getting pestered by these mosquitoes. Uh, six hours, you'd be at 4 p.m., so you got two hours left to keep continue walking. Two hours Druck is left. just drenched in his own blood from smacking all yeah. the oh. yeah. It's like a bird-sized mosquito <laughs> getting splattered. Mosquito, um, you come to what looks like uh, a person sitting in the middle of the road, facing away. Uh, hello there. Stands up. Uh... You looking to hitchhack anywhere? Turns around. I'm gonna hold uh, an attack just in case. They, there, it's a human, kind of gaunt in the face, sallow-looking skin. Uh, they open up their long trench coat, and inside you can just see like flyers, and they go, "Enjoy the trip," and then runs off into the woods. The Did you leave fuck? any flyers behind? No, just ran off. That was weird. And you just hear the cackling as they run deeper into the forest and out of sight. Wow. Or not out of the forest, into the swamp, because off the side of the road, any, about ten feet off the road, is just, like, swamp. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, you're in Georgia. Wait. You're in Georgia. So it's just <laughs> into the muck and just runs through all these mangrove trees and disappears. Strange. Is that, that's not normal, I'm assuming, no? Not really. I really can't tell what's normal around y'all anymore. And as you, quite as you continue down the road, you can see where he was sitting as a, as a pile of human teeth. Freshly plucked. Oh. Flitz oh. is going to mold earth to kind of Roll. hide him. Percentile dice. That's a cantrip. Oh, that's right. <laughs> 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 Joke's on you. It's for cantrips, too. I would, I would, I would literally die. Riot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you cover the teeth with, with the. Mouth He's trying to. Earth. Yeah. Okay. Continuing on. Yeah. That's good. All right. The rest, like the rest of the day ends uneventfully. Two hours. You're at eight hours. Two hours later at six p.m. Throw then, up the tower. Move then in. Then we'll erect. Not on the road because people are frowned upon this tower yeah. being on the road. So you will have to go off the road a little bit into the swampy swamp. Do they just laugh? These towers just laugh indefinitely? Yeah, until you, you leave the tower. Yeah. Oh, until you leave the tower. Down yeah, and it shrinks down. Got it. You don't just okay. leave duplicate towers of everybody. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I was, yeah. You said the people were frowned upon. Well, yeah, if, they're, like, if they're, they're just if, leaving. If they're traveling and there's a tower in the middle of the road, yeah. Okay, okay. Got but it, you travel two more hours, yeah. and Ven will set the tower up a little bit off the road. Like, not... It's going to be in the swamp a little bit. It has to be. Well, he'll try to... Yeah. Flitz can actually mold. He'll try to... He could do... Um, he could like make solid. Oh, cool! So he'll make like he'll make like the mushier stuff kind of like a little bit okay. more stable. As you make it more stable, you can see that the the wildlife that is in that water will kind of like come up to the surface. So they don't get killed, and it's just filled with like leeches that are like this big. Are those little beast. Let's gonna talk to it. Yeah. We are. Okay, never mind. Uh, you go to, you go I to, don't like these. So you go to talk to it, and it doesn't seem to understand your speech. Meaning it's not a beast. Are leeches bugs? What are leeches? Well, le I mean, bugs they, would be Bugs would be considered beasts in D&D, &D, but these things don't oh, seem to true. respond to your speech. It just goes... I'm just assuming that whatever language they know, what does it know? Okay. This is a different dialect. Okay. But that's... 
small beast. That brings you to your first night. Okay. Um, while we're in the tower, Flitz is going to cast, and he's in his little ceramic bottle. He's sitting up on, um, I'm not going to describe too much on it, but he's sitting up on where he sleeps. Okay. Uh, and he's going to kind of get himself situated. He's going to get his little dagger and he's going to start like cutting away gently because he didn't get clippers. Oh, yeah. So he's going to use the blade. Your, your toenails to to... are like each, each toenail is six inches longer. Yeah. He's going to try to cut them down okay. with the dagger. Kind of. Um, it, yeah. Weirdly, it just glides through the toenails like they're butter. I hate that so much. Oh, and while he's doing that, is... that <laughs> and as it, gl- oh, as, they, as it glides through, you look down to look for the clippings, and the clippings aren't anywhere. Okay. Um, fucking hate that. Uh, he'll, yeah, he'll spend a minute. The minute of him <laughs> doing the toenail thing, he's just kind of talking. And I guess he doesn't, it's almost one of those things where it's like happens subconsciously. He's like talking to himself, but it begins to uh, create the vocal components of it. Of uh, Yep. And uh, yeah, he's going to, as the last toenail is off, I guess that'll be the minute. Okay. And yeah, uh, the spell lasts for a minute too. So it's a minute of just rapid fire, five questions gotcha. with one word responses. Uh, hello, are you there? Oh, yeah. That's question number one. Are you having a good day? Nope. Question two. What's your favorite color? Oh, you can't tell me that. Wait one second. Oh, yeah, simple, Is your favorite simple, co- simple responses. You can do simple oh, okay, like, okay, responses, cool. yeah. He's, he's, he's kind of happy about this one. Oh, wither. Okay. Um, question three. That was question three. Question three. Uh, I have two more. Okay. Right? I have two more? Yep. Yeah, five questions. Um, do my toenails, when I clip them off, come to you? They do not. <laughs> they, do, they do not. Toenails? Question mark. <laughs> All right, that's question number four. <laughs> have Have you always been a fae? Uh, nope. There you go. There's your five questions for the day. There's always going to be one question that is going to be important, <laughs> and it's the what's your favorite color question. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> liver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah liver. Did you say liver or yeah. river? <gasps> liver. <laughs> I'm gonna say Flitz heard river because I heard river, and so he was like, okay. oh, "It's blue." Yeah. <laughs> nope. Liver. No, it's dark. Uh, all of you, all of you who are uh, not in the bottle. Just looks like there's bugs crawling out of it. Closer inspection, it's not bugs. It's toenail clippings with little spider legs. Perfect. That's weird. (laughs) Bottle doesn't do that usually. (laughs) They crawl around for like a good six seconds and they all just one by one just disappear. Does that remind you of anything? I almost talked his noose. Uh, No. No, I haven't seen anything like that before. Remember when my eyeballs popped out and grew legs and ran around for a bit? Yes. But That's, I'm getting kind of those vibes. What do you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh? You alright there, There's a random water droplet on my phone. Oh, no. No. Oh. You sweating? You said no. it was gonna be hot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I looked up on, no, on my ceiling because like a couple weeks ago, my neighbors flooded their upstairs unit, so they might have done that again. Uh, Anyways, uh, uh, perhaps, but uh, your circumstances seem to be. Well, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Man, but... it came out of Flitz's jar. Yeah. 
but the, you see they're disappearing right away so whereas yours were they hung out indefinitely yeah do we still have my eyes no those are long gone okay we did something with them i can't remember yeah, they're, exactly they're right now i i definitely did something with them yeah i think they're gone uh, well, 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 well. but yes i think it is different yeah Perhaps we should ask you tomorrow morning. Yeah. How how will you feel? I haven't had a chance to read that thing, but if you need to be vague, that is okay. It, I mean, it helps if you guys know as much as I do without me having to say anything. Mm. So if you want, you can look through it tonight. it is important to you that we look at it, I can certainly leaf through it. Yes, I'm feeling a bit more at higher capacity bandwidth type of thing. I'll have a look. And I guess post the link in the Discord. Yeah. Because I don't have it pulled up right now. I got it. I'll do it. Who can access. do it first? Probably you, because I... It's... Will that work? Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Truck will, like, pick it up, scan really quickly, in, like, less than a minute, and then hand it over to Coin. Wow. Uh, what? Yeah, part of the reason that I wanted to do, to do this job first is uh, uh, you might get to it. I know Flit's already read through it, but um, I think my dad, like, not my real dad, but like my my mom's husband, might have moved out here. So I was kind of hoping I might find him on this job. You mean the next job? No, the uh, the one out by Argent. Oh, it is by. Oh, this I thought job. it was by. Oh. Yeah. Right. Well. Yes, that would be good to know. It is near where you grew up. Yes. No, I grew up in the city, but um. But uh, the hags where we saw. Where, uh, uh, no, oh, that oh. was uh. Uh, I got trained over in Vitmir, uh, on the Rhyme Coast. That's what I'm talking about. It's yeah. The same, it's the same west or eastern part of the continent. Well, we're further north now. Mm. Or we're heading further north. So north. they're like the Verdant north, Shores. Northeast, and but Vitmir's east. like over here. Still east. Yes. Yeah. North, central. Still like a hundred miles different. <laughs> <but>, uh... <laughs> Give or take. We're talking, we're talking about Maine and <laughs> Massachusetts here. <laughs> yeah. It's all New England. Yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, my mom, uh, in one of her last entries, um, she wrote that he went somewhere out over here in this region, or in the Verdant Shores. Yes. That's where Varanmore is, is in the Verdant Shores, just for some context. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I will return to my previous question. How are you feeling? I'm pretty neutral right now. A little scared that uh, he might show up at any second now. Peel the thunder uh, in the distance. Fuck off, dude! Um, sorry. Um, you get a sense it's not because of that, but it's an omen for the weather tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, kind of red. <laughs> I just don't want to see you guys get hurt. That's what happens. Uh, we'll deal with it together. 
if they are family perhaps it's not what you think mm. the letter that uh, Richmond sent me gave me the vibes of it almost being a trap and I'm scared to think that he might have sent a similar letters to the rest of us the other two I would need oh. more time to think about this. Yeah. It's a lot to think about. But eat up. I will be going hunting tomorrow. Uh, is Are there any, like, uh, streams nearby? Just swamp. Okay. All right. If you would like to join me, you're welcome. Yeah, I think I'd like that. Bit of a distraction. Alright. Coin doing anything before going to bed? Uh, nothing but uh, conferring. Gonna do the same sort of meditation with the sphere. Just, you know, sort of like, just reassuring. I can't sense what you are saying, and I know you can be close. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... With, uh, live the code and be true to myself. I'm trying to do both. And to bring honor to what Yadalin had taught me, and to represent Bahamut. By the way, just as a side note, what's the deal with all the guards? They seem pretty... I'm trying... <laughs> they seem like they are not representing you as, as you know, as um, much. It's, uh, you know, NBD, to each their own, I know, balance is important, but, you know, they, they wear your helm, and it's just, you know... Maybe I should uh, perhaps learn to be more patient and ask more questions rather than place judgments. So maybe that's what the lesson is. You hear a voice that responds. It's a shaky, trembly response, like, again, very weak. A change is coming. Okay. Everyone gets the benefits of a long rest. And the tower, when everyone's ready. Is shut down for Florida weather. 40 degrees hotter than normal, so you're looking at like... 50, it's hot as fuck. Uh, very strong wind, and it's a heavy rainfall in the swamp. So it's muggy, hot... Hey, I <laughs> it's 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 awful <laughs> and the bugs are out in full force it's hot it's just mosquito season times 10 oh but at least they're getting fucking knocked out of the air with by the yeah, rain right but it's like mosquito season times 10 they're just like everywhere and just like that's yeah, gross and also because of so much rain the swamp on either side of the road is starting to like rise up and the road is like flooded with swamp water difficult terrain yeah but it's also flooded with swamp water so it's basically today's travel, no dry road whatsoever. To buy socks. Yeah, if you're wearing <laughs> socks or socks. Oh, it reminds me, uh, D100 from Kenna and a D100 from Flitz. Uh, 93. 93, you're fine. No more sicknesses. Flitz. Percentile dice. 83. Your toenails don't grow six inches. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you wake up, and this is the weather for today. It's shit. So that's exciting. I'm really trying to find a spell where I can repel these insects, but nothing lasts longer than an hour. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how it goes. Ah, uh, just torture all day. <clears throat> yep. I wrap myself in the rubber just to keep the bugs off me. Alright. Looking at your map, you're about five hours out from a settlement. Push on through. The mosquitoes are still biting. Sparrow-sized mosquitoes. Uh, somebody roll me a d20, please. Or a d100, please. A different person for today. I'll do it. Thirty-two. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, up ahead, stripping the bark of... You walk for about an hour in this muck. Uh, and up ahead, you can see a muscular human man wearing a shawl of just moss, but the head of a cobra. And he's currently, like, trimming shavings off of a tree. You would always recognize a Yonti. And he's just shaving the bark off of a tree and, like, gathering whatever dry materials he can get. And he's just humming to himself and shaving this tree. Then moves to a different tree. Shaves some bark off of that one. Draki would easily ascertain he's just gathering kindling for a fire. But he's doing it from different oh, trees. Oh, so, so he's... Oh, so he's not going all the way around no, it so that because otherwise it would just kill the tree. Yeah, he's he's doing different trees. Right. Yeah, he's taking a little from here, a little from yeah. there. Okay. And then he just does that and sees you all nods, and then packs it into like a little backpack he's wearing on his shawl, gets down into the muck and just slithers through it, just deeper into the swamp. Oh, and you can just hear him eating things along the way, just snapping up something and eating it. <sighs> Has Druk seen someone like that before? Yonti, everyone's seen Yonti. Okay. This is just right. a different variant of Yonti. Um, yeah. Also, I need everyone to make just standard constant constitution saving throws because you're walking through swamp water. Ah! <laughs> And you can see as you're walking, those weird leeches are, like, on you in various places. Ugh. Uh, is this against a poison effect? Nope. Cool. Natty one. It's against disease. Oof. Uh, for a total of, uh, six with coins bonus. Okay. Coin, you're fine. You don't have to roll anyway. Uh, Kenna, you just feel tired. Uh. You gain one level of exhaustion. Oh, cool. Druk. Six. One level of exhaustion. Fuck. Flitz. Ten. One level. Oh, no, you're fine. <gasps> coins. <laughs> coins presents. <laughs> bump me from a oh. nine to a ten. Wait, what did that bump me to? Plus one each. It's only a plus one. Oh, so Druk would be a so seven. Oh, yeah. Ven is also and getting a level of exhaustion from that. And you, you guys look over and see coin just like high stepping like rocky through snow but through the <laughs> through the swamp which some would argue is even harder because you have upward resistance from the swamp Dax is fine so this is your day today uh but after about an additional are we there yet after an additional four hours eight nine ten eleven because like i said montage approach or else this gets really monotonous yeah uh after about 11 hours you come to a small settlement, dom a small settlement uh, dominated by the nearby swamps. Um, the buildings and the settlement itself are expertly crafted from stone and look extremely gorgeous. Um, it looks like this is like a mining town, and they mine the mines that are deep under the swamps, which tend to flood a lot. Uh, and it's a small little village town. Um, just mostly people and dwarves walking around. But actually, no one is outside. I forgot because of the weather. So it's just 
swampy, swampy stone town with no one outside because of the weather. To the nearest tavern. This town doesn't have a tavern. Oh. And also, you're on a schedule, aren't you? Are you not? Because you want to get all this stuff done before your little cousin brother, brother cousin's thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, brother cousin. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Uh, the people you do see, though, like, are like looking out through windows, and most of the people you see look malnourished and sick. Like, the people who live here are like riddled with diseases. Have... Like, extremely infectious diseases, like if they touch you, have some free diseases. For free? What a great deal. Coin would be immune, but everybody else would have a bad time. I'm resistant. Uh, probably to most. No, because the, they're diseases. So that'd be greater restoration. But you just, no. see, you just see people staring through windows, just looking at you all. You can see like they're covered in like boils and sores, just seeping. One of the people is like pressed up against the window. They're pushing a little too hard, and they pop some of the. Can Druk like uh, discern like what type of nature or if it is a natural thing that's giving off you have some no idea it's just it's like it's a weird it doesn't seem anything natural that you've seen at least okay it's just so they're so they're pressing against the window yeah like looking i'm trying to like get a look at you all closed windows just looking at you all and they're just like smiling wide Wait, they're smiling like they're a little off? Like they're... Yeah. Roughly... One of them starts, five. like, one of them starts, like, giving long licks to the window they're pressed up against. And you can see they're licking up the marks where their things have burst, Oof. and they're like, can't waste a drop. I don't want to help these Dax people. Just keep, Dax, just like, Dax is just like, nah. You guys do I'm not gonna... have you do not have the capabilities to help these people. Yeah. Just uh... just looking at it all. Oh, real. Yeah. There's too many you, people to, for to, us to help. You'd have to be here for like weeks to do that. What? Sorry. This is the soul soul brand. Soul brand. This and even like the sign that says soul brand has been like covered by mud. Just like people are like, it's it's definitely like done as like a deterrent. Like just don't fucking go anywhere in here. You don't see any like uh, crown presence either. Just these yeah. people that are in their buildings. The front doors are all locked from the outside with like thick locks. Like you get a sense this was an area that was quarantined and it's attempting to be contained for some reason. And pretty, yeah. We don't and we don't see anyone. Just, any just, the, just these people in the buildings. Is there any way I can see anyone that's by themselves? Uh, most of the people have been just crammed into buildings. There's no solitary people. Okay. No wildlife either. Like swamp life isn't even coming into here either. Like, once you get into this town, you have instant reprieve from those mosquitoes. Like, not even the Swamp Life wants to come in here. Seems that something is wrong with you. And then one of the people just, like, catches one of your eyes and just goes, It knows you're coming. It can smell you. Yeah, you and they say that through the window? Yeah, like, just the glass window. And then everyone in the building just repeats the same thing. They know you're coming. We sh I don't think we can help them. We can help one. We don't Nothing. even know what's causing this. We could get it next. I will not get it. 
What do you pick? Are you? Why would you? I, don't, I, I think why maybe this I... is. I mean, wouldn't you choose to pick to help one person if you could? Pick someone, Coin. Honestly. Yes, but what happens? Anyone. They're just going to stay here. So, do they have? Um, do they cook food in this town, or did they cook food in this town? And I mean, you can assume passing? you can assume they did. I mean, okay. It's a, so it's a settlement. Probably, yeah. So they probably cooked it indoors. Probably. So there's probably some sort of um, ventilation system or some sort there's of chimney. chimneys. Yeah. All right. It's gonna go. Uh, much like, uh, what was it, Papa Kringle? Uh, I'm gonna go down a chimney. Okay, uh, the chimney you fly up to is also blocked off. Like someone just crammed a bunch of shit through the top of the chimney to keep it sealed. And all of, you said all the windows are sealed? All the windows are just closed. Closed? Is there a second floor window I can open? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Make a stealth check when you do that too, though. That stealth is a 17. Okay. Again, loud storm, so it's a hard time hearing people are gonna and your friends are gonna have a hard time hearing things. Then I guess I'm gonna sneak in uh, okay. to the As you see as you like yeah. climb in through the second story window, um, everything in terms of furniture, walls, ceiling, you know, everything, is covered in like a fine thin layer of this like mucus green membrane. It's moist and wet. This is rather icky. And you see a mouse sitting on a table looking at you. Untouched by this corruption, illness, disease, just looking. This mouse is looking at you and like cocking its head. Oh, uh, I want to go to the window. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to the window and I want to lock it back up. Okay. Make sure it's closed tight. Yeah. It's got a latch from the inside. You can just turn, close it out. Okay. Um, yeah, the mouse is still looking at you. Hello, little friend. Just rem direct. It's giving you direct eye contact. Just doesn't seem afraid of you. Just staring. I am also not afraid of you. Look how brave and strong we both are. Do you know where I can find someone who is strong? Who has become afflicted with this uh, terrible affliction? Doesn't move or anything, just keeps staring. Also, Druk, when you guys would have been walking through the swamp in this region, specifically like within the last day near this town, uh, deer and other large game were strangely absent. Now uh, we didn't really get a chance to hunt, so yeah. But just looking around, you would you knew there's no there would be no reason to because there's just no game. No. Yeah, but this little mouse um, just keeps looking at coin. Where is your family? Just keeps looking at you. 
since you are the only small animal to be untouched by this disease. And you see it kind of like scurries up, it's on the table, kind of scurries up into the windowsill and just like curls up in the windowsill. Before like looking mm -hmm. out, but before like looking out the window for a second and then curls up on the windowsill. Drop with your passive perception, you can see a little mouse looking out the window and then it curls up and goes to sleep on the windowsill. But a coin from inside, that's what the mouse does. Everyone outside. With Druck's newfound intelligence, is he picking up anything on it's that? Um, it's just a weird mouse. Alright. Just being weird. Going going up to the window after coin just went in. Yeah, second story window. Yeah. Okay. I need everyone outside to give me perception checks with disadvantage, though. Because of the rain and everything. With advantage, no. Nope. Sorry. Oh, wow! I rolled two natural 18s. Um, <laughs> the first. <clears throat> yeah, I rolled a 19 and a 16 for a total of 22. Okay. 25. 17. And that's all with disadvantage. All right. You don't know if it was a large gust of wind or a tornado, but something big just flew overhead. Also, I'm going to keep my eyes on the sky. Glancing around, um, there's a lot of thickets growing up out of the swamp, too. Like labyrinthian thickets. Coin. Are there any? Oh, continue. Sorry. Uh, are there any bodies in the street? Like nope. just dead bodies? Nope. Okay. But yeah, Coin, you're in the house. Most is no sleeping in the window, so. Uh, I'm going to peer out into the hall or open the door and like, sniff and see if there's uh, anything. There's a human man sitting in the middle of the corridor just rocking back and forth and chewing on something like eating something but it's it's like pitch black in here because there's no light um, even with your dark vision you can't really see that well you can't like discern any like fine details he's just like rocking back and forth and chewing on something but I know there's only one person in the hall from what you can see looking both ways and all over yeah it's most of the doors in this corridor have been like boarded up on the uh, on the this side have been boarded up aside from the one you just came out of so it's just like six boarded up doors this guy rocking in a corner and that set of stairs going down that said everybody outside you hear a Roar! and then <laughs> like something massive just slammed into the ground about 60 yards to the left somewhere in town. Coin, you also feel like this tremor inside the house. We need to keep coin. Yeah, okay. and then I would close the door, go back to the window. Okay. The, the, mouse the, window. Is, the mouse is gone again. Alright. Well, you can see your friends, like, looking around outside. Bye, mystery mouse. I'm gonna open the window. Okay. Close it again behind myself and lie down. Okay. It was a bust, but there was a mouse, which is strange. Do you not agree? Uh, yes, Mr. Dunlevington. So I have a diseased or mm. absent. Yeah. yeah, there hasn't been any wild, like any big yes. animals that, that you've seen since you've been walking. I don't um, like this. Do we heard boys. Can I? Can I cast yes. speak with plants on the thicket? You may. You would have to get into the swamp where the thickets are because they're growing up out of the swamp. So you would have to like leave town and go into the swamp. Oh, okay. Itself. Are there, there's no plants in town around there's like, where we are. There's like vegetation. Okay. Does that? Can I like cast speak like with moss? Plants on it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um. Hey, um, 
do you know of like any uh, large creatures that have been around here recently? Speaking quietly, uh, so that I don't draw the attention of the thing that just landed. The response is short, one word, and uh, in a language you don't understand, which is weird because you're casting Speak with Plants. It says, yeah. they. We should spread out. And it says it in a growling tone, like, they. We should, uh, we should spread out, I think. Based on the weight of the thing that seemed to have landed. Yeah, it sounded like it landed somewhere in town. Do we want to get to it before it gets to us? We, we, we at least do not want to be caught unawares. Yes, and we should all be about the, the 20 feet as from you, each other. As you're all having this conversation, you can see a rabbit nearby just looking at you all. Staring. Head tilted to the side, then it runs off. Oh, can we didn't <laughs> make an attack roll? Yeah, we we hadn't eaten yet, <laughs> or I yeah. mean, like we maybe we had eaten, but we hadn't hunted yet. I mean, I uh, always have good berries. Yeah, for sure. But uh, so right, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, well, okay, it's a fourteen to hit. Hits, hits the rabbit, it drops dead, and as soon as it drops dead, everything in the swamp goes silent. No buzzing insects or anything, and you hear. Just a voice in the distance, like, Nruh! Um, I don't like that. And then you, hear, then you hear another. Uh, Try to I'm... go hide somewhere? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna hide. Everyone makes, is... everyone makes stealth checks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, and then, <laughs> coin, in Draconic, you hear, One of oh. you killed my friend. You killed my eyes. Pfft. Walking around. And this sounds like a big fucking dragon. On of all days that I did not prepare and tangle or kill right. dragon. <laughs> so Ben got a oh Ben has Ben does, oh my, Ben got a five for a stealth check. You have a level of exhaust if you have a level yep. of exhaustion yep. that's disadvantage. A disadvantage. Um Yeah roll the same. Dax, Dax got a three. This isn't going to be good. I'm going to roll just in case. I'm going to use my uh, pack of the talisman to give myself a We're just going to make this real easy. D4. Don't uh, know be good enough. Uh, so, so, who all rolled below a 22? <laughs> for, their, for their stealth check. Or, yeah. Yep. So, coin, what'd you get? I got a 23. Alright, you successfully hide. Kenna, what'd you get? Nine. You fail. Druck. Yeah. I actually got a 23 as well. You succeed. Flitz. I think everybody else fails. Ten. Everybody else fails, so that's a failed group to self check. And it goes, I know where you are. And those of you who have hid perfectly well, coin and Druck, you can see the form of an adult green dragon stalking through the town fresh blood over its maw like it has just gotten a fresh kill presumably the big thing that fell out of the sky uh, and under its uh, eyes you can see the same glowing runes that the red dragon had and those of you who saw the green dragon in the vision recognize it as the same green dragon from the vision uh, this one however now you get some closer details on it I have it somewhere but yeah here we go. Where are you? Here we go. Yeah, adult green dragon. Short, stocky body. Isn't as long as most dragons of this size. Uh, atop the head of this dragon is an antler-like set of jagged horns. A large scar from below their jaw through the entirety of their underbelly. Um, here's the weird thing. When they move around, it's not on all fours. They move around with like a weird bipedal gait, using their front claws to pull themselves along while they move on the ground. 
uh, vibrant, icy blue eyes, uh, and halfway down the dragon's tail, the scales go from a vibrant green to very pale, ghostly white. And again, runes under the eyes. And Coin and hid, but it looks and it sees Kenna, Flitz, and Dax, and just smiles. And that's where we're going to end the session for the week. Fighting oh. an adult green dragon. <clears throat> Damn, Justin, really? Yeah, I kind of yeah, want to fight this guy now. It's, we're at three and a half hours. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, yeah we got this in 15 minutes. Don't worry. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 15 minutes sure. combats with the adult green dragon. We got it. Adult green dragon <laughs> with legendary actions? No, that's the next week thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's essentially yeah. a TPK or we smash this shit. <laughs> yeah, green dragons. So they can see through small hey, animals. Hey, guys, kill the moon. We can take anything. Yeah. We're uh, basically yeah, gods. So the, moon had a, God. the, moon ha the moon guy had a low CR compared to adult dragons so oh my god i mean dragons be dragons they don't call this dungeon those dragons so, for nothing. that's where we're ending it for the week we'll be back next week where i make a swampy covered town difficult terrain everywhere against an adult green dragon <laughs> and the only people that successfully hit from it just successfully hit from it coin a druck so good night everybody we'll be back next week with a dragon fight big fucking dragon fight so i'm in danger good night you fought a young green. You fought a young red. This is an adult green. So let's go. Good night, everybody. Woo. That just took.